What's up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of Posted. So this is a new segment that we have under Studio 1017, and uh, we're going to be pretty much talking about, like, trending topics and just, like, news shit, just to keep you guys posted and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm your host, Roly Vogues, and then we have... Ronnie. The homie Robbie Robs. Robbie Rob and Ronnie. Welcome, guys, to Studio 1017. You know, I'm glad that you guys are going to be the host to do the show with, so... Hell yeah, I appreciate the invite, bro. But just to get it started, you know, like, what what happened? What happened this weekend? Or what? what, how's y'all's day been? You want to go first, Ronnie? I'll go first. Okay. Um, I just had a tattoo session. Um, I almost cried. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. (laughs) But it did hurt. Uh, I was filling in my sternum tattoo. Okay. Yeah. So I had already done the outline, but I didn't do the shading. So I did the shading today, and I was like... What'd you get? Uh, Oh, just the shading. Like, it's just a shade. It's roses and yeah. stuff, though? Yeah, so I have, like, three roses and then, like, the stems. Oh. Yeah, it's very painful. And I took Advil PM, too. Like, I took it early on in the day. That doesn't work. Yeah, it, did, it didn't. Come it made on, it now. worse. It actually made it worse because, like, whenever I got there, I was, like, falling asleep, right? Because he was prepping everything. He had a previous customer, or client. Yeah. Which is fine, you know? Like, I don't mind waiting. And then, so he's prepping the station and everything. So then I was falling asleep. So I'm like, this is perfect. They kicked in. You know, we're good. I lay on the on the table bed whatever and i started feeling jittery and i was like no way no no way no 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. can you speak into the mic a little closer please? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay like that, sorry, like that. sorry sorry but, oh, you're fine, you're fine. um yeah so it started kicking in where i started feeling anxious and i was like okay this is not okay i yeah. don't like this this is worse because whenever i got the outline i didn't take anything or i think i just took advil like regular advil so okay. i didn't do anything and then yeah so i was like all right cool like What's going on? I don't know. Like, this is my first time taking Advil PM. I don't really mess with different Advils. I just take the same one every time. Mm -hmm. So, whatever. uh, I lay down, and he starts. And, of course, it hurts, right? It's pain. Off the jump. Yeah. So, (laughs) then I was like, okay, fine. It's fine. Let me just pull through. Luckily, he's very patient with me. He wasn't like, all right, like, hurry up. Like, come on. But I was like, okay, let me pull through. Let me just take some deep breaths. And, I mean, he's really cool. Like, he's really chill and everything. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, then we finished up. And then from there, I, I had a friend visit from Austin. And she's in town right now. They're in town, sorry. And um, they're like, oh, let's go have a drink. And I was like, all right, cool, let's go. So, then I had a drink. And they had birria tacos. But they weren't that good. Yeah. No. But I was hungry. I was starving. So, I was like, okay, it's fine. You're just going to eat it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Might as well. And then from there, I was at the coffee shop for a little <clears throat> bit, and then now I'm here. You know, uh, have you ever, have you seen, like, uh, the, what's that guy's name, Ganga Tattoos? Oh, that yeah, familiar. he does, like, a bunch of celebrity stuff. But he, uh-huh. lately, they've been doing the no pain tattoos thing, okay. where they put the client to sleep. You ever what? seen that? No, yeah, I they seen put them. They put them to sleep. What was that called? Anest- uh, anesthesia? Anesthesia. anesthesia? Yeah. That's, like, Yo. where you, bro, they have doctors in the room. They put them to sleep, and then it's, like, seven tattoo artists. All working like I did. big pieces. I did see that. Yeah, Tiger's done it. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm-mm. Could you imagine uh, though waking up, waking up, and, and then like full body tattoos. just. Yep. And now damn, I can't do that's that. kind of the easy route though. I'm not hey, gonna but lie. then yeah. you're gonna be itchy all the way, dude. Like, your whole all around, body. your whole. Yeah. Imagine your whole back itchy. Damn. And nah, you got it right here. You said. Yeah. So I have like different ones. Like I have like most of this arm filled out, and then I have filled out um i have my spine tattoo i have my ribs tattoo the spine one was the one where it was like it didn't hurt because i was like laying Mm -hmm. but whenever it was like healing and whenever it was itchy like there's certain spots you can't reach Mm -hmm. and i'm like back scratcher and shit yeah exactly i was like like a cat i was like this and i was like okay well at least it's just that and i'm good but yeah this one i've been wanting to get it done like filled in but i couldn't the first time i was like no this is it like i can only do the outline yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm even lucky enough to like finish the outline because it was like I mean, it's right there. Of course, everybody's pain tolerance is different. Mm -hmm. I was going through it. So that's whenever I booked the appointment. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. I got it. I got it. And then the appointment day came. And I was like, maybe I don't got it. Like, I'm happy now. Like, whatever I was going through, like, I'm over it now. And I'm like, oh, man, now I got to stick through it. Let's deal with the pain. So, yeah. So I was able to do that at least. I'm like, let me just say, this is good. Like, I'm good for, like, a good while. Like, maybe, like, a year or so. Because I'm like... It's a lot. Unless I'm going through it again and I book another appointment. But other than that, I'm like, no, let me not do that. Like, I'm good. Never again. No, no. What about you, Ron? Damn it. This week, uh, you know, me and my wife just got our new apartment. Hell yeah. Congrats. Oh, congrats. congrats. Yes, bro. I'm so glad because we've been living with, I don't know what it, if y'all know what it's like living with the in-laws. But, you know, it just ain't right not having your own home and stuff. So I'm kind of 
really excited to just have me and my wife there by ourselves, me and the little yeah, homie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited about that. But moving in was kind of hectic, bro. I'm bro, very. I'm. Are glad. you already all the way moved in? Uh, basically, yeah. I mean, Robbie's bed drops off uh tomorrow, and then after that we're gonna. After that we can see how we're gonna rearrange his room and okay, stuff okay, once yeah, we get yeah. the bed and stuff because it's like a bunk bed and then underneath is a futon couch oh, type shit yeah. mm-hmm. so i'm excited for that but the move in was kind of like damn this is mm-hmm. i haven't moved into a spot in so long i kind of forgot how hectic it was and stuff me having to gather furniture move in furniture then my wife going oh, we gotta get this we gotta get that and i'm like damn what like <laughs> Yeah, oh, we so need we need trash bags. We need trash bags. Shit, it's shit that you don't even think about, yeah. dude. Like in this, yeah. And you think just, moving in is just getting <clears throat> your furniture, your clothes, and stuff in the closet. But once you break it down, you're like, now nah, we need a trash can. Now we need trash bags. Okay, now we need a uh, dishwashing soap. <laughs> we need sponges. We need soap for the washer and dryer. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. damn, we need all this shit. Yeah. But, you know, I don't even want to move out no more. To be honest with you. <laughs> I don't I need, yeah. That's Bro, funny. and then um, you 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 uh, yellow my right yeah, my yeah, yeah. Uh, she makes some shit look funny. Bro, Bro. I be do you follow, do you follow my? No, uh, man, we I'm gonna I'm gonna show you her Instagram, man. Shout out my man. Bro, like, it's because her, her home is, like, very, it's, like, aesthetically pleasing to see, okay. you know? And she's always posting. It's, like, a whole home vibe, dude. Mm-hmm. She buys, like, unique, like, couches, like, utensils, cups, like, even for the babies. Yeah, like, it's the, dope. Bro, I'm like, She makes what? it look real dope. But dude. that that looks like my, though. Like, how she presents herself and stuff. And yeah. uh, it, it kind of, like, suits her, like, oh, shit. Like, her and Josh, they don't look like like they're from Houston at all. Dude. Oh, they're here from Houston. Yeah, they're yeah. from oh, Houston. Okay, yeah, okay. they're here. But they, if you were to see them out in public, you'd be yeah. like, no shot. Yeah. yeah, they don't dress like like <laughs> at all. Street. They're in their own like, world. Like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dope. dope. I love it. I'm not yeah. gonna. Lie. I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you because okay. we'll yeah, show you like during the now. break. But yeah. But yeah, and then me this morning, fucking, um, we kind of woke up a little late, dude. Like you know, <laughs> but, late start yeah so we we're like evelyn's uh she's like oh well the podcast is until 10 you know and i'm like well it's, it's 8 45 and she's like ah, it's not till 10 and then we'll we'll take milo to my my parents right mm-hmm. and uh so then we we go and drop them off like at 9 30 and then we have to drive back to uh we we're supposed to be at the spot at 9 30 to set up mm. So so we got B Boy Moy. Oh okay. Yeah, so we got. When's this com- When's this coming out? You think, bro? This, this right one. Here, what we're doing. This one's coming out f- next Friday. So okay, so we could talk about it because when Moy's coming out. Uh, Moy in two weeks. And but two, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, we can't fine. ask no. Because I, I want to ask bro, questions. Shit, you I, know me. I, I'll, I'll tell you off camera. Okay, but, man, bro, but it was dope though. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell Moy, yeah. Moy, Moy's hard, but uh, legend right there. I ain't dude, gonna lie. Straight up, bro. Like like everything. That podcast, honestly, is like probably like has the most gems. Of honestly. course, bro. Honestly. He's been doing it for so long, bro. man. Shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to Break Free. Real talk. Yeah, shout out to him, man. For real. Um, and then we forgot to take a picture of him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's who you were talking about. Yeah, that's what okay. I was talking about. So now it's gonna, <laughs> we have these two missing, and then that's going to be this one. Okay. But, but, I mean, we'll get in shit. Um, so you were able to do it at Break Free? Yeah, we did it at Break Free. That's dope. Yeah, we did it at Break Free. It's probably like a good hour and a half podcast were you able to get a lot in or not really because he, he has right. like no dude yeah uh, i feel like there was some stuff that we weren't able to get to mm-hmm. but it's always like that especially since we started like cutting the podcast a little shorter it's crazy how break dancing took him around the world bro yeah took him around yeah. the third world countries type of thing dude yeah he was you talking know? about japan he said he's been to japan 29 times <laughs> One and half of those times win. i just want one time i know to go. I just <laughs> want to go win. And, that's the plug. and half of those times were through break dancing like shout a out. company took them out there mm-hmm. yeah so cool. shout out moy man um but yeah shit let's get let's get into these topics okay you want to dive right into it Bet. who 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 wants to go first Are we rock, paper, scissors? nah let's do ladies rock. first let's ladies, do ladies first, first. okay, okay. Thanks. 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 <laughs> yeah Okay, so my topic uh, is the whole thing with Yaritza and the whole Mexico comment. Okay. Right? So I was, I felt bad, right? Because I understand, like, if you, your parents didn't, either they didn't want to teach you or they didn't teach you um, Spanish. That's understandable, right? Every parent decides how they want to go about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, She's a new guy. She's new. Yeah, yeah. She's new. She's new. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I understand, like, in that sense, but I feel like, when she said what she said, she meant like Mexico City, right? Mm-hmm. 
Because the person, interview was in Mexico City, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so she's like, a mí no me gusta México. Um, um, like, it makes a lot of noise when she wakes up, which yeah. I'm like, I look forward to that. I mean, whenever I go to Mexico, I'm like, yeah. yes, I woke up, like, without the alarm. I have, like, um, the roosters waking me up, whatever. But she didn't like it because of that. And then her older brother was like, oh, yeah, like, no le ponen sazón a la comida, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, where is this man from? Because he's saying that they don't put sazón, which I'm like, Sazon? Yeah. Sazon? Sí, Listen, sí. when she starts speaking oh, okay. Spanish. No, no, no. I want, I want oh, you to okay. learn I Spanish like, through a podcast, bro. I'm just letting you know. So, sazon is. Seasoning. 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 Yeah. Sazon. Yeah. So, oh, what well, that kind so, of. So, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's saying there's no seasoning on the food in Mexico. Mm-hmm. So, no sazon en la comida is like no seasoning on the food. So, that's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. I feel right. like when if you cook the food good enough, you don't really need seasoning. You need honest, seasoning. But he based it off of like Mexican Mexican food. He didn't say, like, specifically, like, oh, my grandma knows how to make, like, she, yeah, yeah, she okay, was okay. like, I mean, I'm sorry. He was I'm like. I'm one of those, as long as there's grease on it, I'm Gucci. Yeah, that's true. But what all, uh, like, what all did she say? Like, yeah, yeah, was she, yeah, like, no. literally bashing Mexico or so just, like. Oh. Initially, she wasn't. Initially, she was just like, oh, no me gusta Mexico porque, like, there's a lot of noise, whatever. Then the brother said that. And then the other brother said, like, oh, yeah, like, I mean, me gusta mi chicken. And everybody's making fun of him, the right? chicken nuggets thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, he was talking about, oh. like, well, he didn't say specifically chicken nuggets. He just said chicken. And uh-huh. then everybody, and then he said wings and stuff like that. Okay. Chicken. And so they had another interview where she was like, or it wasn't an interview, sorry. It's, they went, they were in Mexico City. They went to, like, a taco spot. Uh-huh. And the guy's, like, cooking the, I mean, he's making the food, making the tacos. So she looks at a soda bag and she makes, like, an ugly face. Yeah. And I was like, okay, hold on. Like, no, no, yeah. you're you're already like doing that. bad. Like you're already a like you're making it worse. Bag? Yeah. So yeah. Did, have you seen that clip? No. Nah. So uh, he's serving like soda in a little like, like ziploc bag. bag. Yeah, like a little plastic bag. But ain't that but, how they do it out there? And then yeah, you just put a yeah. straw through yeah, it. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. she made a face. Like she made like a type of face, and then it pans like the camera pans out to the younger brother. And he's like, yeah, like it's a no go. Like, like, yeah, the fuck basically, is this? basically. <laughs> And then, so I was like, okay, now you're pushing it. Like, I had your back in the first time because I understand, like, some people don't like Yeah, because the way I took it, it was like, okay, you're just giving your opinion on food. Exactly. And it's like, you're not really tripping, you know? Like, exactly. But now it's just like, yeah, she's making a little more, like, comments that are kind of, like, going a little Dissing deeper. You know what I mean? Mexico or what? On Spanish? It's just like, it adds up in a way, you yeah. know? It starts adding up. It's like, okay, like, you're... you're first it was Mexico City. And then now <clears> it's like the Mexican culture. Ooh. And it's yeah, just yeah. like that's where you messed up. But she's Mexican. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. So her parents are from Mexico, and then okay. they're from Washington. Washington right. D.C. or yeah, Washington D.C. Uh, I think it's D.C. Right? Yeah. Okay. One yeah. of those two, but they're in the U.S. Right. Oh, like, okay. so, you, you're thinking Washington Street, or no? No, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking Washington. <laughs> I'm thinking. What is it? Washington, Seattle, Washington, and then you got D.C. Washington State, and then Washington D.C. Right. But I don't know. I don't know then. Yeah, at this point, I really But she's don't. up there somewhere, up north. Yeah. I don't think it's Seattle, though. It, I don't think so. It, uh, it might be I don't Washington. know. Put it in the comments. Please let us know. For sure, for Should sure. Should we just Come look it up? No, no, no. no. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll yeah. give this We need them to interact with us. <laughs> so, is um, she, so she's from America, mm-hmm. and she's talking down on... At first, it started with Bro, a little bit Mexico of comments, City. and now it's like yeah. on the culture, like, yo. Yeah. Like, hey, this and, is kind of gross. Bro, she looks stereotypically Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Bro. Damn. You haven't seen her? I haven't. I don't even know who or what y'all talking about. Oh, okay. You, well, know, you, you might have heard the nah. song. I probably heard. She has it. a song with Fronte- uh, Grupo, Grupo Frontera. Grupo Frontera. That's like well known. She sounds. She oh, sounds. Right, she right, sounds right. like. She sounds like Coco. <laughs> dude. I don't know about Coco. Yeah, you know that movie Coco. Like the uh, the little boy. Don't forget me. She sounds <laughs> just like him. Yeah. 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 That, that, she yeah, sounds that's like a really good dude. comparison. Hey, honestly. bro, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. When Coco was singing to his grandma, nah, oh, stop. I'm about to start crying <laughs> right now. Don't do it. To you. Don't do it. <laughs> that shit got to me. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. But that's wild. So she's yeah. talking down on Spanish, and yeah. she's Mexican, and she's Mexican. And then she had another interview where um, they're like, "Oh, um, you make like Spanish music? Like, uh, I don't know. How, um, how did they say it? Like." Uh, regional, yeah. musica regional, right? Okay. It's like Mexican music, and so she's like, "Yeah, but just because I make that music doesn't mean I speak it." And I'm oh, like, "Okay, yeah. like, mm. so like, no, are you talking about the? She was like on Facetime or a live? No, that was with... on TikTok. That was a different one though. That's a fourth. Oh. That's a yeah. This is the third one. I saw because I, I think that's the first one I saw. The, and the then one the girl was 
yeah the girl was speaking to her in in spanish uh-huh. and she's like nah like speak to me in english yeah like, just because like, she's like but you make spanish music mm-hmm. and she's like just because i make spanish music doesn't mean i like speaking spanish that's yeah which i mean in a sense i understand in a part right because it's like if you know more english and you feel more comfortable then go for it but, but all her money see- comes from yeah, yeah spanish yeah. music yeah. and spanish mm-hmm. so i mean it's kind of what david tipping said bro i mean even selena she didn't know spanish but she yeah. knew yeah. what she was singing who's mm-hmm. paying to go to her show she said so that why she would wouldn't? learn spanish yeah. because she, of that. she was putting an effort you know mm-hmm. exactly. which which it doesn't like i fuck with yarita though like i like her music dude yeah she yeah she's cool as fuck but it's as just a person huh as a person yeah like she's well, not that great oh i mean like, if you say that wise, no 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 music oh, no no shots? music wise like her music i like oh I, but I you're saying like, as a person like yeah like yeah. those little comments and then she just kept making it worse and i'm like i, I don't have your yeah. back on this one but i just saw an update today and then um she was saying that it's not their parents fault because i feel like i guess people are saying like oh it's because the fucking parents mm. like don't teach them the culture or some mm. shit but i kind of feel that though, but bro. they said it's not their parents fault so so whose fault is it we need to right. know. Well, she needs I, to tell us. Like it is. Like like it, it, they need to put the effort and yeah. just like what you want. I am only gonna speak on the part because, you know, I'm Mexican, right? Mm-hmm. But the only <laughs> the only the only time I ever heard Spanish in my household was when my mom was speaking to my dad or speaking to mm-hmm. other relatives, and they didn't want me to know what was going on. Oh, you get what I'm yeah. saying? So they didn't want me to learn. I don't know if they didn't want me to learn, but it was like, no, nah, we're gonna speak this language because mm. homie doesn't know what we're talking about. No, oh, but you know what? You, you learn know all the tea. Like, yeah. the, you know, you, like that's, <laughs> that's what. No, but that's. I'm just letting y'all know, like that's how Spanish you know is how, spoken in my house. You know how it would be like uh, kind of like the same thing with the Yaritza thing is like if you started taking interest into the Mexican culture, like let's say just like cowboy hat or sombrero with like boots and shit like let's say you start doing that wearing area just because and, and yeah and then like let's let's say you become a personality on social media Ooh, okay. wearing all that shit like that's your thing chingo bling stuff yeah but it's like okay now you're making your money off of that like yeah if you're serious like learn a little bit about the culture at least at you least. know like mm-hmm. don't talk shit about the culture and go outside and, and be wearing all this shit it yeah, worse. That's, you know? that, that was the worst part because then she did have that other interview where she's like, oh, well, like, I speak, or I prefer, well, she didn't say I prefer to speak English, but, like, talk to me in English. And I was like, okay, well, now you're pushing it. Talk to me like, nice. Yeah, talk exactly. Talk to me. I was just like, <laughs> talk to me. Like, <laughs> talk um, to me. <laughs> girl, you're not making a case for yourself. Yeah, like, you're yeah. making it worse. And then I did see a TikTok where this girl, um, she, like, gets, like, inside tea from, like, different people that DM her. I don't know if it's actually true, but apparently, like, the cartel's like, no. Like, you kind of mix it, but oh, you're yeah. done. And I was okay. like, no, oh. the cartel's on her yeah. ass? Yeah, Ooh, I mean, me- I mean, Mexico, like as a country, as a um, as a culture, they take everything very seriously. If you joke around about that, they're like, okay, bet, bet, and that's it. That's all I gotta say because everybody else takes care of it. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a scary. Yeah, so I brought there. that up to my brothers yesterday, and then I was like, uh, did y'all hear about like cartel type shit? Mm-hmm. And then they're like, yeah, it's just like she's not welcome in Mexico or something yeah. like that. So, bro, wow. that's crazy. So you can't even do shows in Mexico. Well, she did do one, if I'm not mistaken, with Grupo Frontera, did like she just get- their song, and everybody was booing, like, they were booing her on stage, but it was only on her part. Whenever Grupo Frontera, like, they haven't they're done like, anything, so yeah. they're like, okay, we're good with you guys, but you, like, no, we don't like you. So I was like, ooh, dang. Yeah. The only time I ever speak, uh, you know, I have never been to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Espanol. Espanol. But the only time I ever talk about, like, Mexico or people from Mexico was mm-hmm. when I see People driving all fucked up. I'm like, person driving like they in Mexico. They do drive crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's the only oh, time. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. I'm Bro, like, honestly, over there, running when, stop signs, running red lights, fucking in the middle of the lane. I'm like, dude, look at this. Yeah, when I'm when I'm over there, I'm always like, it's crazy how I don't see too many accidents over here. Like, especially in the city type shit. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, because everybody drives crazy, bro. Yeah, they got, well, some, they got stop signs and shit. And mm-hmm. then, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what's it called? We're talking about in Mexico? Yeah, in Mexico. The lights? The lights. They got oh, street, uh, lights. street lights. Yeah, yeah. Is that what they're called? Is it street lights? I know, th- I only know them in Spanish, semáforos. So street I don't lights know how that be considered like street lights, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is not red light, green lights. Wait, what are you talking about? Now I don't know. The intersections. Yeah intersection lights whatever the fuck <laughs> the red green you know it. red light green light go yeah yeah yeah. but yeah people are like fucking deep. they be driving all crazy dude and i'm just like damn there's somebody's gonna hit me and they never do nah yeah. it's probably because they're just so used to it they're so rare i mean i've never been but mm-hmm. they're so rare because i this is what i've heard i've never been but in the 
the plaza when it just goes around in a circle. People just be going around in a circle, getting fucked up, drinking, chilling. Dude, we used to do that shit. Yeah. You used to do that shit, Rolly? Bro, wasting gas. Very, very wasting gas is going around in a circle. Going around in a circle. <laughs> bro, this is crazy, dude. But yeah, having yeah. the time of your life, Fuck I Fuck yeah. Just jamming shit. Wait, jamming. but when was this, though? Nah, this was back in the day. Exactly. Uh, like, now it's like you have like to be a little bit more precautious. You haven't been to Mexico? Eight years old yeah, driving I, I just came back. I, uh, I went for like a week in July. Bro, she went to... I was you went to El Chorrito, right? I went to El Chorrito. Chorrito. Dog. Yes. I don't know. What Bro, I used to go there when I was little. Okay. I saw yeah. my parents we're, we're and everything. somehow family, in a sense. Somehow family? Somehow family. Because <laughs> okay. it's like nobody's Can't ever... Folk. Nobody's ever messaged me like, oh, is that blah, blah, blah? Like, I did have one other person tell me. But then whenever he told me, like, specifically the name, I was like, wait... How do you know where I'm at? He's like, cause I'm from around there. I was like, shut up. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know this? Like, are you following me? Like, what is going on? You got some explaining to do. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, cause I seen the little chorrito and shit go down. And I'm like, what? Like, that's fucking crazy. Dude, we used to go out there and then it was like all mountains and shit, mm-hmm. right, bro? It's, it's I used nice. To think There's Mexico, like little mercado up there and shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. I used to think Mexico. I used to tell my wife like, I'm not going to Mexico. Why? Why I wouldn't go with a bunch of shacks and huts and stuff and mm-hmm. she's like it's not like that they have buildings they got lights yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they got skyscrapers they got a downtown okay well that's in the city yeah, that's, but that in the countryside yeah I'm, they do like i'm like... on the where i go i don't have none of that shit. so y'all got shacks it's and, all a, and a well mm-hmm. where you gotta go get water and shit and okay maybe not like that i feel like you have a different like, like <laughs> i gotta show you all the pictures all the pictures you whenever to, i went to mexico to. like us when we that. when we shower over there like my dad has to turn on the heater like manually type yeah. shit mm-hmm. like all that. to warm up the water yeah and sometimes like the the little town shuts off water yeah so, at a certain so time. everybody's like hey you gotta shower because <laughs> now you're not gonna you're not yep. you're not gonna be able to till the morning this yep. is why they shut it off i think well they used to whenever i used to go for the summers i think they shut it off at like eight or nine so you can't flush the toilet you can't brush your teeth yeah. unless you have like water bottles and you can use that but other than that like they shut it off so no toilets no um brushing your teeth showering so you have to like what my grandma would do is she would fill a bucket of course. And of course, you can't. I mean, you can heat it up, but it's like you're be taking a long time. So yeah. what I do is like, especially like here, like before I left for that trip, I well, I usually take cold showers just because it feels like it feels really good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm per- like I'm ready for Mexico, right? Because it's super cold water unless you heat it up. Mm-hmm. So tell me why my grandma's freaking shower. I don't know if both of them were hot, but I was like, okay, I don't want hot water. I want cold water, and I couldn't get it because it yeah. was so hot out there. And I'm like, I don't it's want coming this. out hot. It's coming out bro, hot. Bro, when like, it's hot, it's hot, dude. Super it's hot, steaming, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, just like, mm-hmm. it fucking burns your skin. Yeah. See, I ain't trying to go to Mexico. Yeah. Bro. It's cool. I mean, it depends on where you go. Yeah, it depends on but where I go. But it's still like it's the the, the if experience. you go like touristy vibes, you'll yeah, be you don't have to worry about you'll that. You be all right. You got AC everywhere, but. If you go to Mexico, Mexico, then But where's yeah. the better food at? In over there in the villages or over there in downtown? Oh, yeah, of course in the villages. Because downtown, I feel like it's... I well, want to stop the guy that's pushing the fucking... Oh, paleta, yeah. Paleta, man. I want yep. that guy. Hey, yo. <laughs> the raspa, quesadilla, man. The raspa? Yep. I said paleta, man. Yep. My bad. You say no, raspa? No, no, no. They have, they have two. Yeah. Because in LA, I always see that they say raspado. raspado. Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. But I don't say raspado. I'll say raspa. I always say raspa. Yeah. I don't know. I call them taco trucks on this side of the border. No, so we're talking about snow cones. Oh, see, I'm no, I'm actually talking about like, <laughs> but that's what I heard. No, I, I heard like they're pushing a, it looks like an ice cream thing, but it's a grill that they're pushing. Okay. And they're like, oh, I never seen that. With the hot dogs. And oh, then, yes. okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, that. Well, it's like oh, hot dog stands so type shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they have yeah, different they, ones though. Yeah, they just set up and like, cause we have a hot dog lady mm. over there in the in the town. Yeah, and then Evelyn's friends with her on Facebook and everything. Is it a town or so, she has a Facebook out there? Yeah, so it's like um, everybody uses Facebook. Kind of threw me off. Right like there. Evelyn yeah. would like hit her up and be like, "Hey, uh, we're in town. Like, are you like selling mm-hmm. selling hot dogs this weekend?" And she's like, "Yeah, just pull up." It's like, please come to us. Bro. Give Damn. us all your money. Oh, and then you know, like the Mexican hot dogs I made last time. Yeah, that's that's what she makes, but, but she makes them good. fucking better. Hers are the bomb, right? <laughs> Yeah, and not saying yours wasn't good. Uh, but I, I, I get it, dude. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's always like, they're they're all right. They're not as good as her. I'm like, I'm not trying to make her hot dog. <laughs> right? Affect that one. That's funny. But, all right, guys. Uh, that's it for man. We only hit one topic. Dang. That's cool. It's cool. We killed it Let's though. It. I fucking love it already. Hell all right, yeah. for it. guys. We're gonna go in a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Um, we talked about Yarita. Uh, what do y'all think? So what? 
Are we gonna give her like a pass or I'm she no needs to clean it up? What do you think? I'm she needs nobody. to clean it up. Oh, to... I'm not gonna give her a pass because then I just, I mean, she's Mex or her parents, she's of Mexican descent. Yeah, so yeah. it's not, I don't wanna give her a pass, but I feel like she should definitely like. Kinda... She's young, right? Yeah, but I mean, well, okay, so I was talking to my sister about it and she's like, well, but you should know you're 16, you're not a little kid. I was like, well, actually, she's you 16? are. A kid. She's 16, yeah. That's a kid. That is a kid. kid. But the thing she's is, she's still talking out her ass and she gets a pass. I don't think she gets a pass, but the thing is, I feel like... She's immature. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's yeah. honestly just, like, kicking it on the schoolyard, like, on the playground. Yeah, but you know? I feel like because you make music for that country, I feel like you should at least make an attempt, right? And so 16. she's like, but she should have known. And I was like, yeah, but, I mean, she doesn't have, like, a manager to help her. Like, I feel like she should... It's not that I'm I don't sure want to give her a pass, but I feel like she should definitely step it up. Because Becky G did it. Uh, Selena did it. So it's like... If you don't know Spanish like that, that's fine, right? But you can yeah, still yeah. learn it, or like at least the attempt. I yeah. feel like. Yeah. I got okay. you. I mean, I'm nobody to say give her a pass or not, but I'm just saying I didn't know she was 16. But now mm. since I know she's 16, mm. yeah, she's immature. She's probably immature. making a couple of hundred thousand now. Like, mm. yeah, you, she doesn't know, bro. Yeah, yeah. she's just talking. She's just. I think like, she's young. I think she's. Yeah. They, they got to. She has no worries right now. She was probably talking from the heart of her you know like hey yo don't talk to me and you know yeah. this is what I enjoy yeah. yeah that's true I feel the same way I feel like I'm gonna just give her a pass if she keeps fucking up it's like damn bro like yeah. you're seeing the whole world is reacting to you yeah. you know it's like you, you see a, where you're wrong like, that's a good thing though bro you know? bad publicity is it's, still publicity you know she didn't need it she was doing good I know that's what makes me so upset cause I like my mom had me like she would always play that song so I'm like Okay, fine. Let me listen to the song, and then I listened to it, and I was like, "Dance, it's a really good song. It's a catchy song, yeah. the one that you were playing earlier." Yeah, yeah. And so, literally, like, once I started obsessing over it, because like, whenever I listen to something and I like it, I'm gonna listen to it like back to back to back to back. So mm -hmm. then I listened to it, even though it was like already late, because they had made it popular on TikTok, mm -hmm. which I, I think that's how she blew up too. And so I was like, "Oh, okay. You know what? She's not that bad. You know, she's not that bad." And then literally, like, the day after, like, everywhere on TikTok, they were like, oh, Baba, she said this, she said that. Like, all this is happening. And it just kept getting worse. And I'm like, oh, girl, what? But, but in other news. Yeah, let's yeah. go to the next topic, bro. Let's, <laughs> let's real talk. Let's just talk about. Y'all know who Bobby is, huh? Yeah. yeah. With that whole. Y'all think she's, first of all, y'all think she's a, a plant industry? Nah. Nah? Nah. What do you think? I just learned what that was yesterday. Like industry plant? So I'm still kind of new plant, to that. Plant industry. So can y'all elaborate <laughs> on that? Basically, uh, the industry or the commercial side of the world, the people who have money, they mm -hmm. saw something in her and they're mm -hmm. willing to put money into her and give mm -hmm. her the connection she needs yeah, so, to just okay. skyrocket. Yeah, do you ever gotcha. just see like a, an artist and they just come out of nowhere mm -hmm. and then you're like, what the fuck? Like, oh, where, yeah. where was the grind? Budget. Like, where's yeah, yeah, like, the guy? Yeah. 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 I feel like you know, like Mexican OT. I feel like I where he's from here, so it's yeah, like yeah. I see him like putting in work, and I've seen his music videos before, yes. like the whole Johnny Dang shit. And now he's but, doing his press run. Yeah, and but stuff. then somebody on the other side of the world, or not the world, like the country and shit. Yeah, like yeah. and they see like oh Mexican OT like industry plant because they they don't know they, they don't, don't know his backstory. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of get so, that. I feel like that's what it is like with Bobby. I mean, I never saw her on TikTok or nothing. So, as I didn't see her until the Drake shit. I didn't see her but, until the but Drake But then, shit but then I see like the whole uh, when she does interviews and stuff. She was mm -hmm. doing like mom talk, like on TikTok. Mm -hmm. okay. Like that's that's what she was. So she had content out, mm -hmm. and I feel like did you see the her interview with uh, Barstool? No, I didn't see. I heard about it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, on Barstool, she was saying that uh, that she saw like their podcast, and she's like, "Oh, that'd be cool to start a podcast." And so she would pay people to get on her podcast. Yeah. So she was putting in work. She right, was like, she, she said she went into debt about twenty thousand. Yeah, that. Oh, I dude. mean, that's a crazy number, but that twenty thousand. Like that's. I, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I would put twenty thousand on this podcast, but she put it on a credit card. She yeah. ran up that. She said she ran up that bill real quick because she, yeah. she, like trusted herself, and she was like, "No, yeah. this is finna make it." Like, I, yeah. So I, I don't. About. I don't think she's an industry plant. Do y'all think she fucked Drake though? I don't think so. You don't think so? I, I had a talk with so. my sister about it, and I don't like. She brought up a good point. She was like, what, "No, it's what's just, the good point?" I don't remember. Because you I'm had the interview. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I want to know because she had the interview in the bed. 
Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's I don't a, think that it's a setting. Yeah. It's a setting. It's like all viral other, shit. All her other interviews weren't in a bed. Yeah, but it's, it's Drake. I don't know, like, hmm. I feel like he's too sassy <laughs> to want to even do that. Do what? He's too sassy to like actually sleep around. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. This is Drake we're talking. Oh, you saying yeah, he's but, too sassy? Yeah. Oh no, he's fucking around. No, yeah, yeah. I know that, Come but I'm now. saying like with her, Hit I don't the think so. Make a right. <laughs> Checks over stripes. I think, I think something, they did have like a discussion, maybe like an argument or something, and they just parted ways. I don't think that actually happened. Okay. I feel like something maybe deeper did happen, but of course we don't know. Um, but I don't think that happened. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think it's on Drake's side. What's on Drake's side? Like, he, I don't know. Wait, 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 hold on. I mean, give, give us more, that, that, give yeah. more context cause, because I cause just think, like, because first she deletes the video. Right. Well, I don't know. She, she might have archived, it, or archived it. it. I was just yeah. gonna say that, or archived it because she got like what, ten million views in about a week. You know, what I'm saying that's 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 a banger. Yeah. As a for an interview, ten million a week, that's a banger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's coming out supposedly that she's getting a divorce from her husband because he thinks, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. Drake yeah. had the, you know, <laughs> what I mean. Yeah. So it's like, damn, what is it really? I mean, is it just her husband being insecure, thinking how? I'm thinking, or probably how other people I thinking. Think you so. had. The, I mean, that could be a possibility. You did the interview in the bed. Why was that? I you mean, know, I'm pretty I sure you could have pulled some chairs out of nowhere. Nah, I will I, say, like from experience, like people that are insecure, they come out with the craziest things. Okay. So I do. Be- it could be a possibility. I'm not saying that's what it is, because of course I don't know. What you thinking, Rolly? Speculation. What you thinking? Evelyn does an episode. Oh, oh my uh, God. No, don't put it, don't put it on. No, no, hold, on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Well, what? Code, hold okay, on. Giselle, no, no, hey, Giselle does an p- like episode. That, it's over. Cancel Christmas. <laughs> yep. Cancel Christmas only. Nah, like, I, Dunskies. I don't think uh, I don't think they did anything. Mm-mm. He's not going to go for a girl like her. But he's That's it, what I'm saying. Like, Well, it's, let's just say if, even if he didn't want to, what if she just felt the whole Drake like, oh my God, this is Drake right here. I don't think so. You don't think so? Because I feel like he has to be down with it, too. And I don't think he would. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what he's into. I don't know. Uh, Apparently, big ass fucking bras. Oh but yeah! Because, Did you see the TikTok of the girl making like a big, the big, the ass big one? one? Yeah, that was that from was that was from his dad, right? Yeah. Like no, his, that that was for his dad actually. For his kinda, dad, yeah. I thought his I dad seen. asked to get it made to oh. give it to oh. him. Oh, it's kind of like the whole um. Or was it for his dad? What what's that chick's name? Kiki Palmer, Kiki. Uh huh. With her husband, oh, her God. she was dancing on on, on Usher. Usher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, Usher, and he Usher. felt a certain way, cheeks out and shit on her dress. They're, they're done, right? They done, yeah. done? I think they're done. Yeah. I just... Yeah, because it said ex-husband, ex-boyfriend. Uh, and then she drops a song with Usher. Uh, boyfriend. I haven't seen yeah. that, so... I'm just... I'm, I'm feeling a certain way. Okay. I, well, okay, I'm, what what do you feel oh, a certain no, way about? Like, no, what? I'm just saying if, if my wife was dancing on a celebrity, okay. and I was already telling but her... But your like, wife is a celebrity. Regardless. My wife. I mean, but you have to be yeah, in yeah, the yeah. same so, situation. You're not famous. She's famous. Okay, so yeah. celebrity humps. Status. Celebrity status humps wife. But were they humping? They were no, humping. No, no, they were no, 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 no. I'm talking about like, is it over wife? Even though you're a celebrity, you're not going to respect the fact that you're a wife? Oh, oh you're saying That's like, what, I'm oh, saying. like what, what comes okay. first? It's what comes first. Even though you're a celebrity, he's a celebrity. It may be for the views. It may be for, the, oh, this is going to be good ratings, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I see. You're that. still a wife. Right, for sure. Nevertheless, and what you were wearing, come on, your cheeks were basically out. We could see yeah, that. Yeah, but I, okay, the dressing is like its own thing because it's like whatever. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Well, well then you wear whatever that, you want. Let's wear. put that to the yeah. side. You can wear whatever yeah, you want to yeah, wear. Okay. Well, I'm not the, no, you can't go out like that. Yeah, okay. I feel like a lot of people were like that. That's why they're like, "Oh, why are you dressed like that? You're a mom." That's where he got upset. Yeah, that's where like, he got upset. You're a mom. It's like he shouldn't if, really like, get that upset just about seems that. Like insecurity, because it's like if you know what you got, you know she's coming. You gonna flaunt it? Yeah, for sure. That's like that's like. But you're talking guys. about. If she looks good, about... if she looks good and she wants to flaunt it, I mean, more power to her. Of yes. course, there's certain situations where it's like, okay, calm down. But I feel like in that situation, like she's a celebrity. She's um, so. So if she's so I'm just saying I still don't think just because they were both celebrities that gives them the right to grind on each other. I don't think they should have grinded on each other. I I know how to like piece like little things together. So I yes. feel like the way that she dressed, okay, that's how she wants to dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. But whenever it came to like her dancing on him, then I'm like, okay, with that's... that attire on. 
I feel like the attire, the attire doesn't, doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter? No. Nah. She okay. could have been She could have been in a She could have been in a non-dress and a yeah. thong. Okay, I don't well know about that. Yeah, no, you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She <laughs> I'm just saying. She could have been in a thong and he would... There should like be no like touching type shit, you know? There shouldn't have be been yeah. no touching. Because they weren't touching, right? That, they were touching. There was a lot of touching. There was a lot of touching. There was... Usher was in that whole baby grind on me. Oh, then I'm tripping. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because Evelyn would not be able to like be dancing with somebody. You feel me? Because yeah. she's your wife, right? Yeah, but and I'm not so, gonna divorce her for it. But I feel like she's always been or like whatever. like Kiki Palmer's always been that person where it's like she has hella he, friends like celebrities. Like maybe yeah. it's just like a friendly thing. So we're so we're giving her <laughs> the pass right. because she's a celebrity. No, I'm not giving her the pass. I'm ge- like I I think that the way that she dressed was it's that's on yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, we're not talking about but, that. We're talking about but, the grinding on. No, that I shit. know, but like the grinding part, yeah, no, I, that I was not, like that shouldn't have happened. Okay, right? yeah, a little too not. much. So he wasn't in the wrong, the husband, for thinking like that. No, but I mean, but he, like he but he commented on the on the dressing, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think on that is like all right. She can wear whatever the hell she wants, you mm-hmm. know. Okay. But yeah, but it yeah. goes back to the. Let's just bring it back now to the Bobby thing. Doing the interview in the bed when all her other interviews weren't in the bed. I think I that's can what, see. It adds to the vira- 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 virality. I don't know. Is that variety? even a fucking word? Are you making up words now, Rolly? I think I'm making up words episode? here. First episode on post. Oh, it, virality. It, it, okay, 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 okay. Is that a word? Yeah, it could it, be. I don't know. <laughs> it adds to the viralness of the video. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like okay. it's the only one that's like, it's like that. the wow factor. I guess. All, yeah, all of her, factor. Yeah, yeah. All of her other videos went viral. Where that were not in a bed. Why does this one? I happen? thought she went viral because of the Drake one. Mm, no, she went. She because what of was funny that? Marco. Funny Marco. Funny Marco. Which was not in a bed. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of, that, yeah that, it, it went kind of viral, like what well, the clips did. I thought they were together but, in the first time. Like whenever I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, are they a couple?" Because I forgot what he was saying. He's like, "Oh, you're not my type." But I thought they were joking around. Oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah, later no. I found out they weren't together. Let's like, put oh, it yeah. in reverse. Let's just say the husband was Bobby, the famous podcaster. Okay. And he was in the bed with I don't know Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce. Okay. Let's that's just awesome. say with. Kiki Palmer, the husband is now Kiki Palmer, and it's and like you're he, mixing shit. And he <laughs> grinded, and he <laughs> grinded up on, let's just say, whoever Rihanna. I feel. Are like we talking the about the Drake part? or the Kiki thing? Wait, now? first, let, okay, let's talk about My one, bad. and I'm then we can go. <laughs> we can talk about one, and then see he's like, if, like mixing we give it and mashing like both <laughs> scenarios. Like who's right, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Like, is okay. it like a right or wrong thing? All right, look, all right for the for the Kiki thing. I think it was wrong for her like to dance on this dude, mm-hmm. um, and then that that's that. That's that. That's that. Forget it what was she wrong. was wearing. It, it was yeah. dancing, no go. Yeah. yeah. What about the Bobby? The Bobby thing. I mean, that's just I don't know because something was said, right? The dude from Barstool like opened up his mouth. Yeah, he said some shit. And who is he? He has to have some type of connection to be like, oh, I got a source, even though he hasn't opened up about his source. No, he, he, he got it from her. Got it from her. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Which <laughs> one's that one again? The bar souls, the white headed. What's his name? I forgot his name. Is it that the, the one that uh, where he's like, oh, I don't write my questions down. No, I don't know. It's, he's the owner of bar That's why. Yeah, oh. and he just bought it back, which is kind of dope. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, fuck, I forgot. His, uh, but that's cool. That's came cool. and went. You know what you got, Rolly? Uh, all right. Next one we got <laughs> Zuckerberg versus Musk. Oh my god, they're so annoying. Is that gonna is like that gonna That's happen? Never gonna it's happen. not gonna it's happen, not gonna right? Happen. But my Bro, money. they keep blaming each other. It's so fucking funny, dude. Like But yeah, like they're saying like um first they were gonna what? Like uh, is it like a legit thing, like UFC type shit or what? I don't believe Dana White. Of them. I don't I think Dana White was uh he was like involved in everything. I never it was he because oh, I never heard I him he was. say was he? Yeah, I think put so. me on. Cause I was about to say right now that really he never say anything. <laughs> I didn't do my research. Uh, oh come on. I, don't know. I think I, I had seen a tweet where it did say something about that, like like legit UFC. But I'm like, you guys are both annoying. Like just just fight it out. Leave us alone. Like this Bro, but they're to... but they're like in the tech world, dude. Like, yeah, it's, they're not gonna... yeah. like it's legit, yeah, it's like it's legit funny that one's like Facebook, Instagram, and the other one's like Twitter type shit. Well, it's not even he wasn't it's even X. It's X or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. You know? One is a Facebook social media platform, the other guy's sending stuff out in the space. No, because he has Twitter now. He owns Twitter now. No, but I'm but just yeah, saying. But yeah, he has SpaceX. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's sending X, X. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. Who don't would know. you put your money on, though? 
I, honestly, I, w- I would go with Zuckerberg. Really? My yeah, he's really be- smart because he, he has Facebook, he has Instagram. I feel what like you would no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the smartness have to do. I mean, yeah. if you have like all of those titles under your belt, and I feel like Elon Musk, like, ugh, I don't know. I don't, I mean, she thinks he's gonna come out holding all the yeah. yes, all, right? all his Maybe? like platforms. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> on his Nobel Prize? No, it's because he, he was training with UFC fighters. Who, Zuckerberg? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bro, well, I guess sweaty, <laughs> in shape, dude. Well, like... I don't think it would take that much for a nerd to sweat if he's never worked out before. And life. then... But but Musk isn't doing That's anything. True. Nothing? Nothing. Mm, he's probably just a G then. My money would be on Mu- uh, Elon Musk. Nah. That's just me, though. Nah? He's a little bigger, though. Probably. But the size really don't matter. My money's just on Elon it's Musk. It's skills. The skills, mm-hmm. the intelligence. I don't know skills, who has the better skills. I and just then they were gonna, like they were gonna better. fight in Rome, right? In, in the, Rome, in the yeah. gladiator in the, in the, pit. The, yeah. Oh, what's, that what's that called? Be wild. What's that called? It's the not Coliseum. The Lion or some shit? Oh yeah, yeah, the Coliseum. The Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. it's called. Yeah, no, the Coliseum. They offered it They're to so them. They're so extra. And then they didn't want to do it. That'd be dope though. And then so Elon Musk told Zuckerberg, "Let's fight in your backyard, in a safe place." And Zuckerberg said, "Nah, fuck that." Oh my god! Yeah. But he already said it's time to move on. That's of not gonna course, happen. So we were talking about this for about what a year now, supposedly. That's a been year? Going on. No, I think I saw it like recently. Month, no, month, recently maybe. only a month. A month two I months. mean, they've always been at it just because. Um, well, I don't. What's well, not because I'm still with the whole social media thing. So, I feel like because he bought Twitter, that's why he's like, okay, my competition is now. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Mark Mark Zuckerberg. Mm-hmm. So, and then he made Threads. Oh. Right, and that's where he got pissed off, and he was just like, "Well, this is literally Twitter, yeah. and it basically is, but it's not as." Oh, like, who do y'all fuck with? Threads or Twitter? I tried Threads, right? Because I used to have Twitter, and then I didn't, and then uh, I did Threads, right? Because it connects to your Instagram, so like basically, like all the people that you follow, you can follow them on there, and then it's basically it's literally the same thing. It's it, the exact same thing. But you don't like it? No, because it's like I don't know. I feel like people fuck because Twitter's always been there. It has more of like um, like a status, I guess. Like they've been like dominating, I uh-huh. guess, okay. between the two. So of course, Threads did really good for like the first. I think it was the first three days because they had like a hundred million subscribers or um, yeah, users. Yeah, I forgot what it, in like four days, right? Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So whenever I first joined, I think it was the second day, right? So I mean, it was. That tells it was you pretty, on there what number you are. Oh, well, I'm not gonna look at that. I'm not in the millions. I'm like I'm like six hundred. Damn, I'm right. in like six okay. six digits. I was okay, on my bad. All, yeah. Oh my bad. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, millions, sir. Yeah. I'm I've sorry. Been on. Yeah, I'm, I was late to the party. Late <laughs> right to the party. You yep. didn't get the invite. I didn't even get the memo. Damn. I still, yes. I still get the oh you just followed so and so. They just joined Threads and I'm like. <laughs> but do you, use it? Do you like bro? it? Do you like it? I like Threads. Mm-hmm. I like the colorway. Oh yeah, black. So is it Twitter just with a little bit of sauce on it? You think it's Twitter without all the porn and without all the like crazy shit. Oh yeah, shit. yeah, that's true. Bro, Twitter, but ain't that what Twitter makes Twitter? Porn, Twitter? Twitter has like everything, beheadings and shit. Like, ain't that what makes Twitter? T- it's yeah. I mean, ain't yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, bro, I see everything on Twitter. It's, it's crazy how crazy. putting porn and all that other stuff is okay, but you can't put other certain stuff. Like that's wild. Yeah. Well, well, I don't I know, I don't know what do kind of certain stuff because you see everything on there. Everything? You see everything on Twitter, but the other ones, they like kind of like block you off or like they yeah. tell you, they report you. I was talking about um, the other Zuckerberg platforms. Yeah, yeah, basically. So Facebook, Instagram. Face. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. that one? I think it's well, I'm pretty sure Facebook, they they allow shit like that too. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, I've seen some crazy stuff. I have it because I only have it because I have family on there, even yeah. though I don't really communicate. I don't even really use it like that either. My, uh, my wife. <laughs> what? Evelyn? She's always She's like, your I, wife, I know bro. she is, but I know she is, I know she is, but it's like, I never say my wife. I just say Evelyn, you know? Uh, um, you don't say your wife? No, you know why? Why? Well, I mean, I've Tell been, me. I've been always not saying my wife. Like whenever I talk to people, um, this is going off topic, right? But whenever I talk to people about Evelyn, I'll, I'll say, oh, my wife, Evelyn, like I say my wife and then her name, right? Okay. But after that, I just call her Evelyn. Because mm-hmm. the wife thing is already like you should, yeah, it's established, mm-hmm. and it's like now I want y'all to know her by her name. Cause yeah. th- so it's always been a thing that like I had like a little more like more connections than her, mm-hmm. and so I would always see, I would always be like, oh yeah, my wife, or you know, yeah, hey, yeah. oh hey, what's up, what's up, so and so, and then mm-hmm. oh my wife, you know, mm-hmm. Evelyn. And it just then, seems like a general. Yeah, and it's like yeah. oh who is she type shit, but it's mm-hmm. like nah, like I want her to be at my status. So yeah. it's like when I introduce her to people. Mm-hmm. 
that's by name mm -hmm. and then they yeah my wife evelyn it's but after more. that it's just like yeah. yeah so it's like if i meet up june and stuff i'm like oh yeah evelyn this evelyn that like i don't even say like oh yeah my wife you mm -hmm. know it's like that okay so it's like you, so you gotta like put a like partner thing yeah it's a partner thing like okay. it's not like oh i don't want to say my wife it's mm -hmm. like nah i'll say it establish that's it that's the type of yeah. vibe i got I was like, yeah yeah no no wife no it's because it's because y'all know yeah. she's my wife yeah. yeah it's like that so i'm like oh my wife evelyn i mean my wife and then i'm like nah nah evelyn you know no yeah. you didn't say oh no nah, you I said went, yeah yeah like, <laughs> you were like yeah. <laughs> i don't I know what you're talking about <laughs> but all right what's the next topic you got let's go what you got ronnie me. bravo let's ronnie bravo that's, that's funny i never heard that one i know i really never heard that one that's actually really good i gotta change my instagram name again. Oh, i'll be changing uh, it all the time so if you can't find though. me that's why um so my next topic is astral world it's gonna be happening it's gonna mm. continue happening like the festival or the like, amusement park no no i wish the amusement park no oh, the, the festival? festival is still happening Oh, wait, I did see something like that. Yeah. And I saw the police, like, HPD was, like, upset. Yeah. I mean, rightfully so. I don't so. even want to get into this shit. But I we're going to have it, to. It's my, it's my topic. Um, yeah, so I think it's crazy just because it's, like, okay, like, he was the one that told, like, the concert goers to basically riot, right? Which, Which is normal. I guess, yeah. Uh, for his, oh, for yeah, his, for his fan yeah. base? Yeah, for normal. sure. But it's just like you're telling Raging. them to, yeah, you're telling them to basically destroy the property and it's fine. And it's just like, what about the aftermath? Like, but who's gonna take care of that? But shit? he's not saying to destroy property. He's telling them to riot. They're not gonna be like, oh, let me not riot. Peacefully. They to don't rage. think that. I mean, I'm sorry, rage. Yes. But like, what? But like, okay. Let me rage peacefully. Were you like, there? That's when there is no rage that, that incident. No, no, no. I know not to go to those places because it gets crazy. Yeah. I don't want to die out there. Like. God forbid. But, no, but you it's don't crazy. think. But you don't like, think you're gonna die. Uh, yeah. With a lot of people that go, like my Those friend, people didn't think my, they were gonna die. Yeah. R.I.P. They didn't think they were gonna die. They were out yeah, there to but, have a good time, yeah. a fun yes. show. I yes. was there. I was. Oh, there you for, went? Yeah, I was there. Ooh, but how was it? Like it's like that. It's like uh -huh. I mean, it was cool. Like, mm -hmm. but it's it's like that where it's like, um, I know not to go over there on mm -hmm. that side where yeah. it gets crazy because mm -hmm. it's just not safe. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So when we, though, I went all three years. And so the three years that I went, we were just all the way in the back. Mm. All the way in the back. But you can it's see everything. Though. Yeah. You can yeah. see everything. And I'm just like, it's so crazy because I've seen like helicopter, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, footage okay. of yeah. like the whole thing and it's crazy bro mm -hmm. like stages over here super packed. a sea of people and like I'm like oh shit that means I'm like right here by the by the oh, food trucks from, yeah mm -hmm. and I'm like right in front of the food truck so I'm like all these people but I can still see very clearly I can yeah. see everybody oh, wow. like everything and it's yeah. a combination of things it ain't like those people just just died at that one <laughs> yeah. at when when he came out oh, yeah, yeah. oh and like, then what I was gonna say is like it's on a parking lot yeah. so it's like what property are they messing up because they're not messing any prop like well, messing they, were, up property. they were on the they, they do I'm trees not, and shit that's normal wasn't too. it where were the astral world was where astral world used to be no i think it was no. right there where wait the you've never gone to any of them huh? or what? no no I my friend my friend um Whoosh. my friend told me <laughs> <laughs> my friend works them right um and he's like yeah if you ever want to go let me know and i was like okay cool and i'm like Anybody else would be like, yeah, I'm a, I need a ticket. Let me go. And I'm like, no, you can just bring me back merch. Like, if you can, that'd be great. If you can't, it's fine. But bring back the merch. I'm, I'm good with that. Like, and even if you can't, it's fine. Because I know, like, it gets crazy. Yeah. Have right? you ever been to any of his concerts? No. No, no? I don't really, like, I don't oh, you really don't listen, listen like to him like that. No. Like, I like his shoes. Sorry. Like, I like his <laughs> shoes. But other than that, it's like, I don't really listen to him like that. So, of course, it, like, angered me because I'm like... What the hell? Like, you're telling them to rage, right? But it's like, you have to, like, everything has, like, um, you have to, I, I wouldn't say rules, but, like, you have to have, like, some sort of control. And if you're telling people to do that, it's like, they're not going to give a fuck. Like, they're young kids. Especially a lot of them are young kids. They don't give a fuck about anything. So it's, it's just like. It's because it's, oh, like, you can't put it on him, though. Well, no, I, I'm not I, saying it's on him, but he did encourage them. He okay, you know, okay, them. you know, like, the Kai Sinat thing? The Kaisen. Oh, oh I see that. with the with the That's New York thing. Crazy. The New York thing. Yeah. yeah, that was out of his control. Like he didn't tell them. Like yeah, like it's a. They all gathered for him. But that's the thing. He his... didn't tell them to rage. That's the difference. Uh, yeah, Travis they, Scott's just like yeah, fuck it, let's yeah, rage. Yeah, but it isn't, it, like, it's probably a difference between a meet up here and hey, I'm about to throw a badass performance. Because you're going to, it's a, concert. it's a concert. It's like don't don't get crazy. And it's yeah. crazy because. Um, 
It's not like just they rave at Travis Travis Scott's concert. They rave at a bunch of other. And yeah. let's just take hip hop and rap out of out of it for it. Okay. For, out of the equation, raging been going on since rock and roll the woodstock shit i know about the woodstock incident too so and and it's and don't think people don't come out bloody all jacked up there because they're throwing elbows they're doing this and mosh pits were before hip-hop type shit and that's what i'm saying so that's where it really comes from yeah right so for people to be acting like that just because people died there Mm -hmm. i mean yes it's sad but yeah it's more of like a a combination of things those People there have been there for hours Hold on. seeing openers. Yeah. Look, uh, camera's about to die. Let's go oh. on a quick break. Make sure you we'll like right and back. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, we're back, we're back. Let's continue this uh, Astro World thing. So, yeah, yeah. But what were we saying off camera? We were saying basically, uh, <clears throat> I was just saying that they didn't know how hectic it was probably going to be those <clears throat> kids or whatever and mm-hmm. ronnie was yeah. saying well yes that's one thing but you didn't have to destroy the property or whatever mm-hmm. i mean were they destroying the property yeah yeah they were getting like, it they all were the destroying the up. gates they were destroying the little security bars all of it but you can't break the gates they would just tip over no like they were literally pushing people and people were like basically crushed like they're basically that, getting crushed yes. through the security that's because everybody was just pushing to the yeah. front exactly. to no just, so like with, there's been times yeah. like the i think the second year there was a time when evelyn went mm-hmm. that was like i think it must have been the first year mm-hmm. and uh dude when you're in that crowd it's fucking hot we we're in the crowd yeah. i mean that's the first year so we've never been to one you know and it's like there's people who, like pushing us dude but we we're with a group of friends mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we all kind of like made a little circle and we we're like locking arms you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then we we're just like getting pushed dude like and then nobody has control and people yeah. are getting all pissed mm-hmm. yeah. like they're like bro it's like probably like 10 20 people pushing from that side and it's just all a domino effect and then mm-hmm. you get pushed and and people are like what the fuck why are you bumping into me mm-hmm. and it's like dude it's the 20 people in front of you they're yeah. just all we're all falling over you know mm-hmm. it's like so we would have to like get out of there but we know we know yeah. this stuff and it's like if you know it's gonna get crazy just like get the fuck out of there you know what i mean and yeah. imagine but but I, I know there was people that were like saying like oh they were like uh crying out for help or whatever you know mm. stuff like that yeah, i believe but that, bro. The, bro at that those were probably i, I just people. i just i'm just like I, i'm not gonna be in there at nighttime or when travis scott comes out because it's when it gets craziest i feel yeah. like there should be a max of people like that way they can at enjoy the festival, festival. <clears throat> yeah because it's things but it's like a that festival, though. yeah i understand festival. it's a festival but it's like you still have to keep a minimum like uh, a maximum because it's like you can't just pack everybody in there and expect none, nobody to pass out because some people are different some people are like some people are, but no it, they're but gonna it, pass but out it, regardless yeah but That's if true. it was it was a uh, Oh, what's it called? It's like an outdoor thing, though. Like, mm-hmm. I would understand if it was, like, an indoor building type shit. Where there's a fire hazard and shit. Yeah, but yeah. outdoors... But but it's like, they had other stuff going on. Like, they had a mm-hmm. Ferris wheel. They had, yeah. like... So, they're expecting it was a people... Theme park. Well, yeah, yeah. Small yeah, theme yeah. Park. They're expecting people to, like, be spread out. But mm-hmm. obviously, when Travis Scott comes out, yeah. that's where everybody goes. That's why they're there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it's like... I, and this is where you have to think, like, okay, what... Okay, like I'm, I'm in the construction, <laughs> no. I, 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 right? Right. Oh, he's about to bring it out. Oh. So he's about to okay, when I was an electrician, when I was an electrician, they gave us like this. Uh, you have to know like all these codes and stuff, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Safety codes and shit like that. I mean, you you know, right? Like yeah, yeah. there's like safety shit. Mm-hmm. The book is thick as fuck, right? Mm-hmm. For you to know all these hazards and stuff, shit had to go wrong for them to correct it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like. I, I think the only time that there was like deaths like that or whatever at a festival was on Woodstock okay. and I forgot the year it was like 90 something yeah Woodstock. that's because people are it is the yeah that was that was tripping. crazy mm. but it's like they, they probably looked at it back then like oh freak accident like that was fucking crazy people mm-hmm. passed away whatever mm-hmm. and then since then nothing ever happened you know what I mean and then so Travis Scott does this thing first year nothing crazy mm-hmm. no deaths yeah. second year nothing everything looks all right let's copy paste the last year but make it better boom and then third year copy paste make it better mm-hmm. but there was incidents you know yeah shit happened yeah. but it's like he started the whole like heal thing did you did y'all see that no he started a program called heal okay. and that was like this was like already like after this everybody situation. was blaming him and okay. lawsuit and all this shit right mm-hmm. So he started this thing called Heal, and that was to implement like safety 
into concerts okay. so it's like okay. implement implementing like it was his plan like hey this is what we have planned mm -hmm. this is how we're gonna correct yeah uh like the, future future shit you know yeah. and it was like uh more security maybe like putting gates down the middle so there's mm -hmm. like a like that way like that split, one falls, splitting has... the not even that it's just splitting the crowd into two okay that way if somebody's like in trouble they can just mm. push them to the middle yeah and then that's where security oh, or whoever okay. would get them so that's like he came out with that mm -hmm. but people are still like blaming him blaming him mad at mm -hmm. him even though he, so this is what i'm getting to mm -hmm. so when shit like that happens that's when like they add to that code book mm. of like yeah okay well book. code whatever the fuck that if, if it's too if it's this many people we have to implement like a, a safety lane or yeah. some shit like that mm -hmm. yeah shit like that and for for that to happen unfortunately something like that yeah was gonna happen like you know? i guess yeah. you can't nobody avoid. thinks about it until yeah. it happens it's like yeah, that for sure exactly i feel like low-key that's <clears throat> what like it was like a domino effect because like ever since that happened like you have like people throwing their phones at yeah, yeah. the artist okay okay it's like that like that's what crazy. It, who, who was the one that got hit and then they were like uh, uh, like it was like they were bleeding type shit yeah i don't remember but they did curse them out they were like really mad yeah but Which, it's like rightfully so oh i know bad bunny did it like they well she was trying to take a picture with bad bunny but this is like not at a concert like he was just walking and she like tries to take a picture and he like grabs it he swings it like he oh, yeah, just yeah. Throws it somewhere. no but i'm talking like, about like that's why but I'm, yeah. but I'm talking like on stage i don't remember like, who it was but it's, it has happened to multiple artists but it's like okay it's like that like if you if you guys are seeing that this shit like artists are getting like there's like obviously you have like security up there mm -hmm. but does there need to be like a net or something can i have one yes ma'am <laughs> no i'm fine Thank shout you. out to the producer of the show real, real. talk taking real. care of us real <laughs> <laughs> but if um make sure y'all like and subscribe you know what i'm saying if you're enjoying <laughs> the content that we're putting out but if like um I don't know, like, are you going to put a net or something so people don't be throwing shit or, you know a what I mean? Like, there's, I just hate I that it, it got to that. Like, it has, like, people always ruin it, right? For other people. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, let's say some people, like, they Sometimes the artist is like, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah, exactly. And, um, like, you know, some people, like, work hard or they have their parents' money to be able to get them that concert ticket. And then they go and other people ruin it. And it's like, for what? Like, why did you have to throw your phone at them? Why did you have to throw garbage at them? Because they're yeah. people, too, like, I, regardless of their status. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Ronnie. It's be, I just think since what's going on with hip-hop and rap right now at concerts and at mm -hmm. shows and at festivals, they've been bringing and they've been not stealing, but they've been bringing the rock and roll culture slowly into it. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is just going the going crazy shit. Which is just going yeah. crazy. Because don't think this hasn't been happening for them right they've been throwing garbage they've been throwing shit yeah rock and true. roll people let's hey we're about to fuck up all this house instruments right now i'm about to break my guitar i'm about to throw this drum set on stage this amplifier i'm about to break my guitar on it so i just feel that that's what's happening slowly with the hip-hop and the rap concerts and the mm. festivals like yeah. i want to see you fuck shit up and we about to get crazy in here yeah. we're about to have mosh pits and the people in the front probably don't know mm -hmm. two three people five people behind you mm -hmm. we're about to go crazy and yeah. these people are like hey we're trying to get away from these people yeah. and they're forced to get closer to the stage and then people who don't want to be put into that circle now they're pushing even more into it and they're enjoying the show mm -hmm. these people are getting crazy we're all mm -hmm. enjoying it and i just feel sorry for the 13 the the 15 yeah. year old in the front that was just here to have a good time and my dad <laughs> is waiting for me in the back because that's who drove me up here yeah not knowing it was going to get like this. Yeah. yeah. And people are just throwing a bad name on the whole, you know, that. Well, I just feel like that's what happens when you want to be a rock star. Because yeah. that's what's happening to these rap artists, these hip hop artists. You want to yeah. be a rock star? You want to have rock star shows? Well, guess mm -hmm. what? This is what happens at rock star concerts. Yeah. I feel like there should but, be like a section. Like, you want to party hard? That's cool. Sorry. Um, I feel like you guys be on this side that way, like the calm, more calm people that want to enjoy the show. Or you know what could happen is like have like a oh, because the whole rage thing is mm -hmm. like it's on brand for him, you mm -hmm. know. Right. Yes, but it's like what if what if doing it? Yeah. So what? what if they did like a a safety lane thing and yeah. then have like a you know when you go to like water parks or like, like Universal <laughs> Studios? Zone? Yeah, you know <laughs> how they have a wet. You zone? are gonna get wet. Have like a a <laughs> rage funny. zone. And it's like, yeah. okay, once that's filled up, you can't get in there. Yeah. And it's like that, you know? That's... 
I, I mean, mean that's I hate shit to like, like I'm shit an like, old person for that, but I feel like yeah. That's no, no, what no needs but to it, but it, it's like shit like that that you have to like start thinking about when stuff like that happens, you mm-hmm. know. But yeah, so they're bringing it back. Yeah, they're and, bringing and it back. How do you feel about it? I mean, I uh, guess after this talk, I it. I mean, I, I'm not going, so it really shouldn't matter to me. But yeah. I feel let's like go, let's go as a podcast. No. Damn, no. that'd be dope as fuck. You wouldn't. If we do it, if we do it as a podcast, that's fine. But. I better get merch because if y'all don't see me, like I'm gonna be taking no, pictures merch. of little Ferris wheel. Like, I don't even go for the like, merch. Merch is, takes forever. Ever. That line's crazy. Yeah, dude. it's like a like a snake like this. Oh wow, it's crazy. Mm-mm. Even though they have a lot of people working that tent, I just take selfies. It's like I'm not here for the music. I'm, I'm here glad. for the pictures. So you just buy it off somebody. <laughs> you just oh, better yeah. off buying it off from yeah. some, off of somebody. But I'm glad they're bringing it back, bro. I mean, we shouldn't. I don't think they should have been so hard on Travis Scott about what happened so because i mean i'm just saying you know my bad you know I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> i'm just a hater my bad no no it's not that you're a hater i mean you're looking at it at a whole different perspective you know it is, yeah, you have your opinion you have your perspective mm-hmm. i have mine roly has his it's no problem because i would yeah because i would see um people imagine. talk about it on tiktok and stuff and i'll be like man yeah. they weren't even there they don't know yeah imagine the parents that lost their kid and, and, so no yeah they hate they probably hate the fuck out of Travis Scott. Yeah. And they're bringing it back they're probably smart. like really after you know there's probably gonna be protests there's gonna be that, protests that, that yeah. first sure, day, you know dude. what i'm saying so it's all about how people we'll see yeah I, I don't it. think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be easy no and i feel know. like i feel like if uh i feel like if they protest it it'll be an easy win for the protesters but i guarantee oh, yeah, sure. is already like i guarantee you it's gonna yeah. be way cautious than ever those people who do attend the people who throw the show whoever the promoter is that says you know what we're gonna fuck with you travis you want to throw the show we're gonna put it together for you they're gonna be on high alert make sure these people got water i need double security i hate i hate it yeah dude i hate it that people would be like um he like uh why didn't he have more security like why didn't he all this shit but it's like bro he's the artist so it's like Technically, whoever's manning the, yeah, the whoever area. Yeah, whoever's doing, like, do yeah, that. he's the one throwing the creative shit in there, whatever, whatever. And they say, oh, I want the Ferris wheel. I want this. I want that. Yeah. But whoever, the Live Nation, I get, I think it was, mm-hmm. they're the one. I think, I don't know. I, I forgot. But they should be the ones like, okay, he wants a Ferris wheel. We we got to have, like, five people. We got to have the gates around the Ferris yeah. wheel. Make, he's not thinking, like, oh, put five security guards there. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's that's like, not I on him. I have five for Ferris wheel. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah, like, yeah. he's not thinking that. Like, he's... I'm not too busy with his music. He's like, hey, I want I want my stage this big. After my check, he's like, yo. Yeah. No, I'm he's, showing up at this time. He's like, yeah. I just... Yeah, I know Astroworld starts at boom. Make sure the know. fireworks go off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, Amazing. but then the, the pyro technicians or whatever the fuck, <laughs> like, they're the, one, they're the ones that's that are... Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the ones that are like okay let's make sure they work like it's yeah. not on him mm-hmm. if the shit caught fire if the shit if the stage caught fire they're that gonna blame the, travis too yeah. like oh I'm, what the fuck he didn't yeah. check if they were safe or like <laughs> no that's the guys manning the shit you know what i mean yeah that's true um that is true so i don't know but yeah like i remember that day fucking weird i was leaving i was fuck. i was fucked up dude and uh and i heard somebody behind me go oh my god did you hear somebody die tonight I heard that right, but I was kind of like already like drunk and shit. And Evelyn picked us up, uh-huh. and uh, I got in. Once I got in the truck, I knocked out. Knocked out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then we got home. Next morning, I wake up, and Evelyn's like waking me up. Like she's like, "Hey, hey," and I'm like, "What happened?" Uh-huh. She's like, "Did you hear?" And I'm like, "What?" Like, did I hear? Like I, I was asleep. You know? <laughs> but she's like, "Hey," like, so, uh, how many people was it? I forgot. I don't even nine. know what people did die. Yeah. I don't know if it was nine, but she's like, a lot of people died last night. I'm like, were you were you okay? Did you see anything? I'm like, the fuck? I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't about? know. Yeah, yeah I was right. I, I was by the fucking food trucks. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but like, you don't even where I was at. There's not. It wasn't that crowded, and I would not be able to tell if like people like ten feet from me were in trouble. Mm. I'm, oh. I'm just chilling you know yeah. i'm worried about my i'm I'm watching the show mm-hmm. i'm not looking to see if somebody's in trouble yeah you know and then especially if you're packed and if somebody's yelling for help who's gonna see you yeah and it's the i don't because i think i posted it i think i posted it on instagram that uh i think it was like con- controversial like i said it wasn't travis scott's fault is the people that stepped on these people are still out and about yeah like they're still out and about going through their Shit. lives, bro. They they're gonna go to the next Astro World. So. Oh yeah, 
they probably stepped on bodies and not even don't think they didn't know they were stepping on bodies bro you know if you're stepping on a fucking body see i see that but it's like where else would you step if there's that many people yeah like like, i'm not saying to step on people right of course but you know it's possible to make a fucking mosh pit dude it's possible to make like if you're like mosh pit or whatever (laughs) they all get crazy then they start they start all so if yeah, there's a fucking true. person, there's a person. Yeah. Like fucking start making space. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. That is true. So, dude, and yeah, we can um, be on this topic for quite some time. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, but really. but I, I mean I'm Endless. looking forward to it because I I don't have like any like bad, uh, blood or yeah. whatever mm-hmm. for it towards it. That's because you made it home. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying. No, that's yeah because you made it home yeah. and. You didn't, yeah, I get you, and, bro. And, and I feel like... Uh, it wasn't old boys. No, fault. I mean, you know, God forbid, and, and fortunately, nothing like that happened on my brother or whoever was with me. You, yes. Because if it would have happened, then yeah, I probably would feel a certain way. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I mean, but I'd be blinded by like, like anger and all this shit, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So, That's but right definitely now... going to be protests that day. But... Yeah. Let's in you, other news. In <laughs> other news, let's keep them posted. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you enjoy the content, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, let's get those likes up and those subscribers. Yeah, yeah. You feel Robbie, me? Robbie reminders. Oh, yep. Robbie, Robbie reminders. Robbie reminders. <laughs> yeah, you know what we got to think about the music for the for the show. Just hit up Young Knight. I gotta hit up Young Knight for sure, for sure. Hey, bro, sponsor. Got to. Ooh. Okay. Next topic. Next topic. Next topic. Right. I want to kind of bring it back to the. Let's get to the um, controversy stuff. Ooh. So I don't know if y'all heard or if y'all if y'all noticed out there watching the viewers, a baby mama was at the club <laughs> and sent her baby <laughs> daddy. I'm just saying. Would you pull a stunt like this? I'm not that petty, but that I mean, pe- if you're a terrible person, I mean, it, he might, he might be. I don't know if she's a terrible person or if he is for her so to have done the that. Baby, What's the context? The, the baby <laughs> mama sent a bottle and a sign. You know, because when you send oh, a bottle, yeah, yeah. you can get the sign yes. out there with the sparklers going. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. shout out to the sparkler girls. Mm-hmm. And it said <laughs> on the sign, it said, "Take care of your son." <laughs> I'm just saying that's wild. Let's just that's let's crazy. just take theoretically, Rolling. Okay, <laughs> you and Evelyn, y'all not together, right? But y'all are both at the same club. Oh, a she was bottle? there. Yeah. So where's the kid? I didn't know she was there. So where's where's the kid? Okay, but before we get to that, okay, 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 okay sorry, because sorry. that's a whole nother. You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> So, a bottle gets sent your way because you see your baby mama, your ex from the whole other side of the club, yeah. sends a bottle your way and a sign that says, take care of your son. Are you taking the bottle, though? Yeah. Yeah, it's paid Are for. You, it's paid like, for. Hello. You're still but having a good time. I don't like, drink here, like here's that. Here's to but taking care of my son. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, fuck yeah, I take care of my son. It's not my weekend. Damn. You know? <laughs> Who's watching little hey. homie? Oh. Bro, if you have if the attention is on you, you have the upper hand. Oh. And you can say shit like that. You'll be like, I do take care of my son. It's not my weekend. And then it's like, why is she here? So Bro, you turn it around. So basically, homie should have sent another bottle with a sign that says, who's taking care of your our yeah, son? Where's where's boom? Where is Put the name on there, dude. Ooh. I didn't, why are I didn't you here? know I didn't know she was there. Yeah. Ooh. I only saw like a like um the video. Is this like, a, Twitter, okay, it's a video? Like, yeah. It's a video, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So but I didn't know the baby mom was there. She uh, had to be there. How else? Unless so. unless your homegirl, unless her homegirls were like. I mean, people would be questionable to, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, because it's not like she's home with the kid. She had well, to we be don't, there. Nobody, to say, well, okay, do you know that she was there? I don't know if she was there, but how else are you going to say, hey, yo, send a bottle to her? Because if you see Maybe the bottle girls, like you see that sign, the sign's pretty big and it's lit up. So, of course, if you see something funny like that, or not funny, but if you see something no, like that, funny. you're going you're gonna to start recording, right? Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, it's not because, like, maybe whoever recorded was friends with her or was her. Because why would you be on, why would you be in the same section with, they weren't in the same. Yeah, well, I would assume well, they weren't. They were just in the same club. Yeah, but I don't think so. I don't think she was there. Would you pull a stunt like that? No, I wouldn't because I wouldn't want people to know. Like, if if it gets to where I have to be petty, I don't want people to know who my baby daddy is. Like, we're just going to leave it into the abyss. Like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm probably going to send it, Dang. but I'm not going to be there. 
I need yeah. somebody to record for me. Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm not happened. on that petty shit. Like I just. She but but it's, it's confirmed that it was like uh, the baby mama sending that, or was it like? Yeah, because take care of your son. I don't think. But what if it was a joke? If it was Who a joke, dang, that's, that's wild. Wild. Yeah, that's it's like wild. it's like when it's like when you go to Hooters and you're like, hey, it's his birthday. That's different though. Oh, could and you they, imagine your homie sending? Damn, that's that's fuck. messed up. That's, that's messed up. Sending your homie or take care of what your if, son. What if what if he doesn't even have a son? What if he didn't even have a son? Yeah, and then it's just yeah, like a joke. But he did look like embarrassed, like oh shit, like they yeah, really called me out type of shit. He did like, you know, what I'm saying duck away type like, shit. Oh. He was like, damn. Yeah. It was funny. I thought it was funny, but like I wouldn't I thought it was funny like too. I, I haven't even seen the video. Yeah, I seen the video. Oh, mm. we should have showed you before. The video. I feel like the old me would have probably been petty like that, but yeah. I'm in the my healing you. era, so I'm like, nah. You're acting I'm a, I'm like a, you're that old. They'll Ronnie. get their karma. Uh, throughout this whole year, I grew okay grew? as a person, and I've done different experiences. So I feel like I'm not as petty as I used to be. I can be. I just choose not to because mm. they'll get their karma regardless. I'm good. Oh, so. okay. You've been That's enlightened, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. With that, yeah. You know, that was a topic a long time ago. Like, is uh, wishing karma on somebody, like, petty? Um, Do you wish for karma? Or you're already thinking, like... Karma's gonna get them. I exactly. feel that's, that's how I think. Yeah. But that's kind that's of petty, right? No, that no. What I do, know. like, I don't wish bad karma on somebody. I just know they're gonna get their karma. But maybe it is. I mean, maybe it could be. But I, I think just the only don't... way that to go where it's like no pettiness mm. is like you don't even think about it. Ooh. Don't is... wish. Don't wish nothing. Don't even think like karma. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because karma is a little bit like it's like it, it's like instead of me saying like uh like. I hope that shit happens to you. Oh I, no, I, I can't. I, I can't I, do that. Like, let's say that's the pettiness. Okay. And then, but the well, what you're the enlightened is, you, the enlightened you, or whatever mm-hmm. is like, or the better you is like, car- karma. Karma's gonna, karma will take care of that. Your karma. But yeah. it's, karma it's, it's like a nice way. It's like the e- the and business e- email nice way petty. to say, mm-hmm. yeah, like a nice petty. I mean, I, I, there's times where I do say that where it's like it's fine. Karma will take care of them, right? And then there's other times where I'm like you know what i don't have to be in the situation i'm just gonna remove myself and i don't have to have like bad um like bad energy towards you like i don't feel any type of way Mm -hmm. i just i don't want you in my life so that's it so it's like that negative energy i'm good off of that like okay let us know in the comments you know what i'm saying what's more if is if it's still petty you thinking oh well karma's still gonna go that way if that if that's still petty or yeah yeah if thinking you know, like oh karma karma will yeah, take care of it kind of brushing petty? it off let us know in the comments you know yeah that's why but so i mean that's how i felt about the whole baby daddy thing i was like damn this this that's home girl, crazy home girl just sent old boy a sign that yeah because i don't know who's wrong but i'm like, with roly though i'm taking the i'm taking the bottle hey what if you make a here. show out of it and like Ooh. Yeah. deal with the deal with the shit afterwards bad publicity still publicity Ooh. <laughs> it goes that, back to that for sure for sure i mean i wouldn't want that on me but you know for everybody else <laughs> All right, let's talk about the next topic. I All think right. we're going to go on break. Like We got like three minutes and shit. But. Okay, bet. Bring it up, though. So, Cecily Aguilar. You know about her? Yeah. I heard uh, a little bit about it. Okay, so she just got uh, sentenced to 30 years for <laughs> accessory to murder of Vanessa Guillen. Well, so, hold on. We got a, we, accessory to murder? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which just means she was an accomplice. Yeah, accomplice. Yeah. A girl. Yes. So, mm-hmm. we're not going to... So... <laughs> <laughs> yep yep so wait a minute so the men yep. that actually killed this woman mm-hmm. aren't nothing's happening to them nope but we're gonna he's gone what do you mean he's gone like he's not charged they just let him go like no, he's, he's gone dead oh he killed himself oh that's right oh, that's he right he killed himself yeah yeah he... well then i mean problem solved i mean I mean, obviously, I know, yeah, but I not, like but he not still for the paid for obviously for it wasn't family. just him though, bro. Yeah, it had to be more than one. Oh no. yeah, for sure, for sure. I feel like a lot of people let it slide, bro. and they're like, "Oh no, like we're just not gonna like help you out with the situation." It's just like, what? And but, of uh, course, they go go for the girl. It's the easiest target. Which I mean, granted, they I got think her. There were a couple. I think uh, the dude who did it, and then the Cecily Aguilar. I think that they were a couple. So okay. basically, they added, they piled on what should have been given to him to her, in a sense. I can, I don't even think so. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like whenever I saw it, because I follow the sister Mayra, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, she like invited hella people to the courthouse for the hearing and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of like to put pressure. Of course, you know, okay. and just and yes. just be there to witness her fucking get sentenced. You know, yeah. But yeah. even her getting thirty years. Uh, to a lot of people, 
to to Maida, I feel like she's posted that like you know thankful for everybody showing up and stuff, and then that justice is served you know but people are just like nah it's not served like she should have got more you know well the thing is like the thing that sucks about that is just like no matter like even if she gets life they're still like it's never gonna be enough people are gonna still feel a certain well, way exactly. about it well exactly my mom said that uh she saw an interview and the mom told that girl that she forgave her mm. I mean, is that not what it's what's important? Like, it's like more yeah. family shit, you know. The public's gonna have their opinion, yeah, of for sure. Course. But for sure. you know, but like, I could, I yeah, I could be like, ah, she deserves more. Yeah. But if the mom, if she's the one that's like, you know what, thirty, that's what they're gonna give you. I mean, yeah. we've pushed hard, we we've, we've worked hard for this day, mm-hmm. and honestly, like, if she, okay, if she, if the mom says like, hey, I forgive you, you know, whatever, like, because the girl said that it haunts her, mm. that what That's she did probably what broke her down there you bro. know it haunts her so and the and the mom is like you know what i forgive you mm-hmm. whatever because that's because that's the bigger person yeah. thing to do you know For and sure. you just forgive and mm-hmm. shit but um i think the the punishment is one thing but i think my like the guillen family was more worried about like correcting what went wrong so it's like mm, okay that's why they met with the president and like they kind of like put stuff into action mm-hmm. about if you, you, if there's like abuse going on or whatever the hell mm-hmm. um that you're able to speak up there's yeah been... but that's the thing like i feel like that's always been or at least for the most part like you've been able to speak up but it's like if you speak up to the wrong person and yeah. if something happens to you which i'm pretty sure that's yeah it happens like, it happens you have to speak sad. up to the wrong person it's sad yes yeah because it's like who are you supposed to speak up to because then like they probably feel the pressure too or it's like ah oh, like we can't do what we want to do now chain of command exactly and it's just it's it's it affects them even though they're already going through the stuff that they're going through so it's like i don't think it's fair but i feel like if the mom has forgiven uh what's her name cecily cecily Cecily? it doesn't matter oh okay yeah damn it yeah as long as i mean she's been able to like uh forgive her then you know she has all my respect um the mom of course mm-hmm. yeah. um because that's a, that's that's tough to forgive somebody especially for that for killing your like, daughter yeah. exactly like that takes a lot of power yeah my respect to the woman to the mom yeah but, but other than that man let's go on a quick break and we'll be right back it. make sure y'all like and subscribe Let's get right back. Let's get right back into it. Um, where did we leave off? For uh, I think we Vanessa. were talking about Vanessa. Oh, the Vanessa thing, thing. yeah. So. But I, th- I think we kind of like uh, pretty much agree on that, right? Just mm-hmm. like as long as the family fuck is like, lady. fuck that lady, you know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, R.P. Vanessa again, man. For sure, for sure. Um, who had the next? Yeah, right. the next topic. All right, next topic. Next topic is the girl that got catfished with Billy from Stranger Things. She sent this man ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. I don't know if it was within the first year or within the first month. Mind you, she was married. She's not married no more. Like oh, homeboy did, but he's like, no, nah, right. fuck that shit. Like, you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. There's and no I was like, there's no way. He, there's no way he'd be into you. Like, like that. Billy, out of all people, and. I don't like being that person, oh, yeah, right? Don't be that person. Yeah, but so, you about to be. But that you know, like, but it's obvious. Like you have yeah. to be realistic here. Yeah. Like I'm do Lulu as fuck, but I feel like in certain situations, I'm like, okay, like that person would not be into me. So I feel like her, like her do Lulu was like her delusional self was just like out of there. Where she sending this man 10k? Like I was talking to my friend about it, and they were like. Honestly, I wish I was a scammer because there's really people out there sending money yeah. like that. And I was let's like, think, no. let's, let's, that's, that's crazy. Wild. $10,000. Would, would you be able to sleep at night if you were scamming somebody like that? No, I wouldn't. Personally, I can't. I, I can't think do I would, it. Honestly. It takes I feel like I would get bad karma for that. It no. takes a certain individual to yeah. be able to take money. Yeah. Especially this woman had her own life. A wife, a husband. I mean, yep. a wife, a she life. Was, she's a wife. A husband. <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. fuck, dude. I don't know. Nah, I, I would. I wouldn't be able to do that. And then she dropped all that mm-hmm. to go with this person. So it was she catfished by the character or like the actor? No, the character. The, the character. The well, character. Technically, no, it's the, the actor. actor yes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm saying. But they like, brought up the fact that he was on. Billy is the name of the character. Right. Right. But yeah, but I forgot how you say. I don't remember how you say his name. He was a Power Ranger. He was the Red Power Ranger, Jason. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, well, oh, on the on the Becky G movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I gotta, it's not I the Becky it, G please. movie. It's the Power Ranger movie. I know, bro. but yeah. it's the one with Becky G in it because there's a Power Ranger movie after that. But oh. why are you so fixated with Becky G? Yeah, you kind of fixated. Movie. I love, yeah, I love like, Becky G. You love Becky G? Well, that's... Shout out Becky G. Shout out Becky G. My wife. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my wife oh, I did like that. <laughs> I already explained that, bro. Oh, I explained hey, that. hey, it is what it is. Hey, we went out know. there right now. It's all love with her. It's you know, all like, love with her. We all know. She <laughs> see the this. whole podcast. They all know. They oh, all know. They all know. They all know. They all know. That's funny. <laughs> Bro, I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna just delete that clip. Nah, you, you know. Nah, you gotta keep it. Know what I'm it. talking about. Yeah, yeah we're talking it. about it now. Like you have to cut a lot. Wait, of wait clips. what are you talking about? Who Ooh. did that? Not you gaslighting us, man. Right? Why are you gaslighting? Damn hey, it, y'all see boy. This? Y'all see this? I'm, I'm cutting that out too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting everything. We have to start all over again. Uh, all right, but but yeah, I mean, getting catfish like that. Hey, do y'all know people that gotten catfish before? I know. Okay, so I know two really? people. Really, I, I know, know two really. people. I know somebody crazy, that bro. knew somebody that was on the show, and he said it was fake. There's this like one of the few. Oh, you talking about the show though? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, uh, no, no real life. Oh, yeah, like really real catfish? Life. Yes. yes. Do I know somebody that got catfish? Or have you ever gotten catfish? Uh, uh, I feel like catfish. I don't. I don't even look at that like catfishing. I feel like catfishing mm-hmm. is like. You you know my my first time meeting her is when you met her. Yeah. No shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, cause he freaking made it late to. Uh, yeah, what is Mr. it called? Bad astronaut. We're gonna meet at Bad Astronaut with one of the hip hop events. I met Evelyn and, first, and then yeah, but and then I Evelyn's followed like, her last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I followed like we followed each other for a like long, a while. Long ass time. A long time. Yeah, and <clears> then she catfish you. No, that's what, I, that, no that, <laughs> that's what I that's what I was gonna say that like catfish would have been like we meet mm. and then you're not the person. Um, oh, like Instagram. completely. Yeah, okay, that's, okay, okay. Yeah, that yeah. to me is catfishing. I think sometimes, sorry. Yeah, but like, but I get it because people do like, oh, people catfish on Tinder or whatever the fuck. Like, that's mm-hmm. crazy. You know, stuff I like still, that. I, I can't bring myself to like, I've gone to, through some crazy stuff and I feel like I can't download um, Tinder, Bumble, whatever oh, the other you, ones You don't are. want to answer? No. Oh. I was like, I didn't mean uh, like put her away, but like, I just, like, no, no, no. Hey, like, like your phone's no, I could hear it. Oh, okay, okay, That's okay. why I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can't bring myself to do that. I mean, my problem to the people that can, I can't do it. I don't know why. I just can't. But I'm like, the stuff that I do, like, I'm really busy within my week. So it's like, I don't have time to do, like, to hang out or to randomly talk to people. Like, I'm a very, I'm a very busy businesswoman. Like, literally, my, my week consists of Monday through Friday is work, and then I get out late, get home around 6.30, and then go home, eat, change, go to the gym, leave the gym, like, around 10, 10.30-ish, yeah. roughly, and then that's it. The next day, I have to, like, or I'll go home, shower, then get ready, and then Saturday and Sundays is my only free day, and everybody's like, oh, hey, let's hang out. Not everybody, but, like, people that yeah, want to yeah, hang yeah. out, they're like, hey, let's hang out, and I'm like... Saturday and Sunday is my only two free days. I already have like you basically got a book in advance with me. Like yeah, whenever I'm, you yeah, see, yeah, I'm like yeah. that too. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like I can't like I really don't have time. And then I guess it would be beneficial to me to be on Tinder, not really or, or Bumble, whichever ones. I don't know what's out nowadays, but like to talk to people over the phone. But like other than that, I'm like I'm like it's funny because people are always like, oh, you should give me your number, and I'm like, okay, I always say everybody, but like. The people that ask me and I'm like, you know, yeah. it's funny. I respond more through social media. Like I don't use my phone like through like tag like texting wise, mm. except for you guys. But like social on social media, media I, like I've, the, yeah, I'm I like get you. I get you. Responding on there, yeah. So you never catfished before? No. Okay. <laughs> to answer <laughs> your been- question, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so and you, um, well, you've been with your wife for about like twenty yeah, yeah. years now. No, shit, yeah, so. but I know two people that have got catfished. But like, all right, I'm gonna tell y'all one. Like sending money, catfish. No, 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 not or like, just, not like oh, that. Not but like, bro, like it's all text shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. All text, and uh, I don't know if this person like knew what their whoever they were talking. It was like, it was somebody I know was getting catfished by a girl, right? Yes, of course. Uh-huh. Uh, and then this person, I don't know if they would send pictures like, oh, this is what I look like, mm-hmm. or if it was just like. They have to, right? They they must they would have, have had of some sort. Otherwise, yeah, some... why would they be talking to them, right? Okay, maybe they did send a fake picture, mm-hmm. and then, bro, it got to a point where I'm gonna just skip, right? But it's like this this person, this girl, made up like 
everything. Uh, family, like brother. She has a brother. She has a sister that does this. She, had a, she made up Bro, a whole life. A whole life. A whole life. And there's been it went on for months, right? Okay. And then this person would be telling me like, like the at this point, like they're in a relationship, but they've never met, right? Mm. And it'd be to a point where it's like it's like online relationship, mm-hmm. you know? And it got to a point where um this person, uh the girl, she'd be like, um, you know, hey, I don't feel good. Like something, I think something's wrong with me, you know. And then this person be like, that was wrong. And they'd be telling me like, hey, something's wrong with her or some shit like that, right? <laughs> and then one day the brother texts this person and they're like, hey, uh, what's it called? She's at the hospital. Um, we're at so-and-so hospital. Yeah. It doesn't look good. They just took her through helicopter and all this yeah. shit, right? <gasps> Life, this, the whole shit. And, and Yeah, and this person's like fuck bro what am i gonna do like you know i need to go over there girlfriend yeah yeah (laughs) never met this bitch (laughs) and then i got to a point (laughs) never met this bitch ronnie i'm gonna lose the love of my life and then this and then this girl (laughs) dies dude (gasps) dies right we're acting like it's a real yeah we're acting like see he got me too i was like no the girl dies and then the brother is like texting this person like hey we're at you know what's what funeral home they were at right the one uh next to to Hollywood, um, cinema, the movies, yeah, okay, that Rose, Rose, something, Rose. I've never been there, or, but I know where Hollywood. Oh, okay, okay. Well, is. it's like off Sam Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Spend, yeah, there, there was yeah, like yeah. a funeral home right there. They said, "Hey, uh, we're gonna be here for the viewing," and they shit. went. They went. Nobody was there, dude. And I feel like that was the way of like that person, like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna just cut it off here. Man, I man. had to do all that just to yeah. find out. Like, no, but there was a lot more shit like before that. And it was to the point where it's like, hey, I want to meet you. Like, where can we meet? It's like, hey, I'm like, let's just say, like, I'm at Baybrook. They like they drive to Baybrook and they're like, uh, where are you at? It's like, oh my god, I just left. Like, <gasps> you never came. And he didn't like, or yeah. they didn't pick up. Yeah. On my- oh. Oh, but but this girl had a cousin what at the scrub. at the at the school that uh that this person would go to. Okay. So. I feel like this is a that, novella. And so, shit. That, yeah, like, so that, oh so that, goodness. so that cousin would like communicate with this person that I know, and be like, she was like the that cousin or whatever. That girl was like the middleman between this person I know and then the catfish. Okay, okay. you know what I mean. So it'd be like, hey, tell your cousin like, um, what's up? Yeah, like where, where, what? She's not responding to my text. She's like, okay, she's mad at you right now. <sighs> Just stuff like that. You she know, she's in on it too. Yeah, yeah, uh. but. I think it ended up being that the cousin was the, was girl. the girl. Yeah. Hey, girls ain't shit, bro. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold bro. on, hold on. Bro, there's a lot to it. And Wendy. then there's another one, but I don't want to get into like all that shit. But it's, but it's crazy. That's real life catfish shit, dude. Real life. Yeah. I've never, yo. Yeah. Bro, I mean, it's that's... crazy, dude. People just fall, fall, fall for it. And then they're just like going along with it. And it's like re- normal Mars. to them. They're blinded, bro. Like They're blinded I, by love. Oh, is that really what it is? Let Bra- us know blind. in the comments if y'all ever been catfished or <laughs> know somebody that's catfished. Ciegos por el amor, dude. Yep. Ciegos por el amor. I don't, I, blind, hey. Blinded by love. Bro. Let me know what he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next topic, next topic. Next right. topic? Hmm. I got one, you know. Okay, well, Walmart mm. is apparently going to be taking away their self-checkouts because they've lost i want to say about five billion dollars of death five billion billion it's in the beans. but you got to understand they're in the three digit billions yeah, yeah, yeah and don't think it's a, like that's crazy they're they're first starting off in canada that's not like crazy then that's right mm-hmm. that's like come on five billion compared to three yeah. digit billions come on now is that really is it, but is that what like in a year no no, no that's uh Since what was started. that i want to say that was if the it's 20- in a year no, that was the 2021. It's like from there to now, 2021. Oh, five. Three years? Mm. Five billion. They're spread out over three years. I'm going I'm to I'm keep it a stack. Multi-billion dollar company. And we're talking about the self-checkouts, people, where you get to do it yourself. You ain't got to lie. Let us know in the comments of you who's stolen from there because I'm about to put y'all on Shame on y'all, man, for real, for real. Shame on them? Damn, okay, go ahead, go ahead. You're about to fill a certain way. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, no, 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 I'll take it back, I'll take it back. I'll cut it out. <laughs> no, 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 don't cut it out because I know back in the day we stole parties and stuff. And when they used to be like beer runs, mm-hmm. they and you know, Walmart back in the day, they used to be like HEB, they used to be the, the good prices on the core, right? On the beer and stuff, <laughs> yeah. right? And they would be like, Man, who wants to go for a beer run? 
And I used That's to crazy. hate and I used to hate going on the beer run. Right. Right? <laughs> and they'd be like, Man, just go, Rob, just go for the beer run. Blah blah blah, blah. we'll give you the cash. I thought you were saying like just go rob. Like, yeah, that, that's what beer run is. Oh, oh that that's crazy. That's where beer run is. No, but came. they were trying oh. to say his name, not like, no, hey, no, no, go no, no, rob no. this place. That's what I thought he was saying. Oh, was oh, like, oh yes. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rob, go go for the beer run, Rob. Yeah, yeah. That's, they were telling me, damn, criminal over here. <laughs> criminal. <laughs> but so they would hand me the cash and stuff, right? And uh, Robbie the robber, Robbie mm-hmm. the robber, and they would hand me a bunch of cash and stuff. And I go to Walmart, and sure enough, I go grab whatever bam, bam, 12 packs of this, 12 packs of that, pull up to the you know, self checkout. Yeah. And I would only scan about like maybe two or three cases. Oh, so it was really Rob, Robbie the robber, yeah. yeah. And I would have about like maybe six cases on me, and I would only do like two or three in the half. And I would pocket the rest of the cash. Like, nah, fuck that shit. Bam. I feel like a lot of people did that. In yeah. my pocket. Ooh, here I am. And then I go back to the party. Whew, here we go, baby. You know what I'm saying? Keep the party going. Mm. So, I'm not going to lie. I've done it, you know, with the self-checkout uh, for uh, sure, for you? sure. Uh, and I do it. Mm, do fuck it. it. I, ain't gonna, I, do it at, I do it. At, I do it at Home Depot. Oh, okay. For well, sure, I'm for sure. Can do I'll cut it out. I, I ain't tripping. <laughs> I ain't tripping. Let us know if y'all stole some stuff. Well, Home Depot. Damn! <laughs> I was really for the answer right now. Good. Yeah. He almost went for it too. I do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll do it too. Never do it when I'm crying with Roller. But I do it like. Where? No, no, no. Like store wise. I don't. I don't oh, Walmart. Care. Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. But I do it like. We're part of the 5 billion. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, like I like if I scan something, I I put two things together. Scan it once. Kind of oh, yeah. like put in a bag type shit. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We didn't make it obvious, you know. Mm-hmm. Just have you, well, you know they have cameras that like yeah shoot, but you know? that's why i would like stack oh it. like okay or like if it's in the cart like i'll just like kind of already prep it you know yeah, yeah and just like beep and it's just that one throw it in there mm-hmm. and if they sometimes they'll catch you you mm-hmm. know or sometimes they'll be like hey can they i see your bag you know you? let mm-hmm. me see your bag and she's like oh uh you know you have and i'm like oh shit i, I didn't scan it <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. You would like, hit him with, would hit him yeah. with that. And I'm like, well, actually, I didn't even want this one, actually. And then you just go with what you paid for. That's good. If you got would caught, ne- you know. They yeah. would never. They, you got stopped before? Uh, Not like not like at the door, but like the lady's like, hey, the, did you the, scan the. And I'm like, oh shit, no, nah, I didn't, you know. Oh, okay. So I'm like that, you know. Because you look like a my, criminal. I never got stopped. I, <laughs> you look like what? a criminal. You look like a criminal. <laughs> I'm just saying, you look like a criminal. Damn. Just saying, Rolly. You know, you got the beard. You got the H Town hat and shit. What does a beard have to do with it? Why you look like a criminal? I'm confusion. I'm a criminal. <laughs> but another story though. Um, you ever actually stole some shit though? Like walked out without paying? Like fuck it, I'm about to walk out this hoe. I would steal from FedEx when I was working uh, at FedEx at the warehouse. Like, like inventory. Like, like, like dude, it was kind of crazy. Like do tell. Okay, so, you know uh, stance. You boxes. You know stance socks. Oh yeah. Okay. Stance, they have like designs on them, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we would get like boxes of those, mm-hmm. and I had to like load up the trucks and shit. Mm-hmm. And I would see like, oh, stance, uh, socks for this store, mm-hmm. and I literally just like we had our tapes and shit. Like if in case a box showed up and it was all kind of open, mm-hmm. you just seal it. You seal it or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you you know fix it up a little bit. So I would like kind of like rip it. Just like see what's in there, and I'm like, oh, they got some socks in here, and like kind of mm-hmm. put them in a pocket. And then just seal it back up. Oh, okay, okay. Just shit like that. That ain't okay. too bad. Yeah, no, because they had metal detectors. So I can't I can't take, you like, some crazy metal. shit. Yeah. yeah, so I could take, like... Well, I have heard stories, like, people that work for UPS and FedEx, they do that a lot. It's, like, not... Oh, it's yeah, very common. And then they're going to give oh. them a $100,000 raise. That's crazy. Know. That's wild. That is crazy. That you is crazy. driver shit. Bro, I used to throw boxes, dude. Like, throw oh, shit? Like, throw. Ace Ventura, fragile, and you're still kicking it across? Dude, throw. Because we... Have you ever seen, like, what it worked? Like, how the inner workings of, like, UPS and FedEx and all that? Where it comes from the dolly and shit? Yeah, not the like, dolly, it, yeah, the, it comes down the slide, the, and then it's, like, on a, on a belt. Yeah, yeah. And it's just moving, and you got to, like... If it's like uh, scan it, yeah, Ooh, scan it. But it'll it. it'll say like truck seven or or it goes by zip codes or whatever. Yeah. But you know where store it, number, where, and yeah. Shit. And you're just like scanning, and sometimes I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like the first truck uh, missed it, you know. Mm-hmm. So we'll be like, "Hey, uh, your package or whatever," and you just like chunk <gasps> the shit, dude. Yeah, you just what fucking, if it damaged the product? I mean, you don't know. He ain't worried about that shit. You got he some tape. Care. You got he some tape care. to seal it. 
Damn. Yeah, the box, not yeah, the product what about the stuff that's inside. I don't know. What if it's a it's base? It's not your problem. A box. Damn, I'm man. not speaking for FedEx. I don't know. You know, I don't work them. Oh, you're just talking about UPS that just got the race. No, no, no. I'm speaking about FedEx, but not for them. Oh, that, see, that's the I'm just saying. wobbler right there, uh, guys. Okay. <laughs> hey, but I, I feel like FedEx had a, a bad uh, rep anyway back back in the day. I feel like they're all terrible. They just just mail me my package. That's all I want. Just don't mess not, it up. Yeah. Don't throw it. Don't chunk it. Like, like, like what's the problem? Yeah. And don't steal like, my are you shit. Angry? Rolling. Are you nah. angry? Hey. Well, we got three minutes left, guys. I don't know if y'all got want to talk about the last topic, which is like yeah. aliens. Aliens? I don't really yeah. don't have another topic because I got the Walmart. I got yeah. to send the. Yeah, my the last baby. one was the aliens. Hmm. The aliens? Because so, it's not a, like a uh, crazy like people aren't <laughs> reacting to it like that. Well, aliens, obviously. I think they were already, like, okay with the... Or they're, like, okay with the fact that that's a thing. Aliens are already here and they're okay with it. That's what you're saying? Yeah, because nobody's yeah. really making it... Oh, well, they'll put it on the news, but it's, like, very abruptly. A distraction? Like, yeah. Like, I mean, if they're here, cool, but they're, I guess they're probably I, don't want to leave. It's because I'm, like, the, the guy who said it... Did y'all mm. see that? Like, no. the one who admitted it? Mm-mm. He was just, like, talking about, like, he was, like, uh, yeah, we have... Like, they do it very... Uh, the way they talk is very like professional. Of course, and it's like we've mm-hmm. had a. Uh, they're not non-human uh, mm-hmm. specimens, like shit like that. Mm-hmm. But he's not saying like, yeah, he's not saying like, yeah, aliens are real. You know, he's just saying it to where you kind of think to yourself like, wait, is he admitting it or is he just like, you know, that's, it's that's not, what he wanted to do. Yeah, but I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like aliens. I feel like if around. I feel like if we. If they're like, hey, we have aliens, here they are, or whatever, and they show us like they some footage. They couldn't do it like that because people bro. wouldn't know how to react. Yeah, like how, how, what would you do? They're giving us a little dibble dabble, a little seasoning. Mm-hmm. You the, know? Day that, the day that, you know the day, Sasson, the day we see an alien, like an alien. People going to trip. Bro, I'm going to be like, they're gonna lose they their look like that. Mind. What if they don't even look like the way we think they look like? They're going to yeah. look to- like, uh, who knows what they're going to look like. But I think it's crazy how ever since the... This is going a little, not off topic, but mm-hmm. like I said earlier, a distraction with the alien thing. Yeah. Apparently, it's okay to say aliens exist ever since the war in Ukraine. I didn't know it was an issue in the first place. I thought you were able to just say it. Just No, yeah. he's saying like distraction wise, right? Yeah, because now ever since old boy Putin wants to invade Ukraine and shit, now they want to tell us. Oh, oh little alien okay, this, okay, okay, okay. But it didn't work because ain't nobody talking about it like that. alien yeah. that. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, that now they're just trying to, you know, throw it in our face a little bit here, a mm-hmm. little bit there. Yeah. Because I already thought aliens existed, you yeah, know? Same. It, like, mm-hmm. come on now. Sp- this, come on. The Earth's flat. The Earth's flat. Come on. Relax. Wait. Really, oh, though. no. Come on. <laughs> this is a whole other episode, guys. This is a whole other episode. Make sure like, you got like and subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, man, I mean, we can talk about it off camera, but I think this has been a good podcast, a good episode. First episode, First pilot. Episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, guys, this is Posted. Posted. We got Ronnie. We got Rob and Roly Vogues, your three hosts for the show. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, We're going to continue to do this dropping every Friday. For now, it's Friday. I don't know if it might be another day or whatever, but Mm -hmm. Friday for now, guys. Make sure you guys are tuned in. Uh, And these are usually going to be morning episodes. Right now we're drinking and shit. Right you know, it's, 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 oh, I thought we were getting litty at nine a.m. But let us hey, know. If hey, we can get lit at nine a.m. too. But <laughs> hey, that's it, guys. Much love. Bye, um, guys. Yeah, subscribe and all that shit. Good shit. Bye. Peace. Woo.